are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. Keem, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? What's up, dude? You're here, finally, we did it. Yeah, yeah. We're in person doing the pod. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for coming, dude. Bro. It's crazy, we did, together, I think we did episode three. I know you said you want to pull it up, yeah. but you were my third, and now here we are, episode 36, in a different state, in person, in the studio. Talk to him. That's Talk to him. That's two years ago. Talk to him. Talk, Talk to, to him. him. That's two Talk years ago. To him. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. How are you doing? Bro, I'm blessed. Feeling blessed? Blessed. Yeah. You really did a number on this thing, bro. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. What, is, what, Yo, what did you, what is you. going hold on, on hold here? On, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Don't judge. Hold on. Honestly, we just need to replace those things because the amount of episodes where it's like somebody's just Sticking like, up. yeah, messing and around. like, you know, it was a good podcast, but yeah, that they thing just was kept, just... They kept dicking around <laughs> with that fucking <laughs> mic stand thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. All right, there it is. So how you been, dude? Bro. Living it up in yeah. Florida? Florida. Florida. I'm, you know, there's a, a competition for next Florida man. Guess who's in it? Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. What do, you, what do you have to do, meth? How do you fucking win well, that competition? <laughs> well, I'm doing the non-drug one. Okay. So basically you just... Act as crazy as you can. Okay. So if you find me on the news, mug shot. If you see a naked man running <laughs> with dreads, <laughs> right? Naked it could black be man. me. That's the yeah. thing. Um, Do the news report. Every... Beep, beep 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 beep. This <laughs> this evening on the evening news, <laughs> naked black man runs <laughs> through the city, competing to be the next Florida man. You know what's funny about that? Literally every time someone sees like a black guy, well, a fat black guy with dreads, people think it's me. Like there what? was like this this clip going around of uh this this black kid in Walmart and he was doing like the I don't know if you know the milk jug challenge where oh yeah you like, throw it up and yeah, then act like, like you fell hardcore key what are you doing hardcore key like, I'm like I know I'm a nigga but that's not that, that, that's not me I'm like that is not me at all so you know that's that happens a lot or band people yeah like the vocalists of Peeling Flesh they be like is that hardcore key and they're like no and then uh, Spirit Breaker like if you're if you're black and dreads in the scene. You're hardcore key. <laughs> dude, what if I what if I got dreads? Do How it. do you feel about bro, white guys with it. dreads, bro, dude? That's the thing is. Do we need I, to bring white guys with dreads back? We really do. Really? You think have, you think that's what the country no needs problem. right now? It, it is. I, especially the scene. That's what the scene needs. The scene needs. That's what the metal scene needs more white guys with dreads. Exactly. Damn, that's you heard it. You I heard it, y'all. Feel, I won't feel alone, you know what I'm saying? Our chief uh dreadlock correspondent <laughs> over here, dude. He's like, listen. <laughs> By the authority in, uh, invested in me, I say that white people need to bring dreads back. Bro, I allow it. Like, it's it's only white people have a problem with white people having dreads. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Black true. people are like, do you You think? are appropriating the culture. <laughs> they'll be like, uh, they'll, so if I say something like that, they'll be like, he's the Uncle Ruckus. You An know, Uncle Bo- Ruckus. You know, yeah. Boondocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they'll show. Like, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's a little Uncle Ruckus. I'm like, well. Isn't that do? isn't that like a nice way to say a worse term? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And isn't it crazy that that white people are getting away with saying that all the time? Like can talking about Candace Owens yeah. or like yeah. anybody that is like black and pushing their like opinion and it doesn't go with like the yeah. narrative or whatever. They're like they just throw that they throw that term. I don't even like saying it, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cuz it's say it. No. <laughs> <laughs> say Uncle it. Thomas. Say it. <laughs> 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 no, that's no, hilarious. Okay, yeah. yeah, it is. It is. That is kind of weird, dude. Yeah. Like, why do white people hate white people with dreads so much? And I think the answer is because a white dude with dreads historically has been the worst kind of white white person. <laughs> like, like, and it's either it's either like it's a specific. It's like a dirty, you know, hippie or like a tweaker. Like, it does represent the 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 lowest. I feel like uh, you know. There's, I'm not saying that every right, guy right, with right, every dude right. with dreads, you know, that's a white dude is uh, is is a bad a bad white person. Right. But I'm just saying it does represent kind of a, a, a certain demographic, right? You know what I mean? They be so chill though. But isn't it like Viking or something like that? That's like true. They did. So what black people call them is like locks. Locks. Um. And then white people call them dreads. Right. Okay. Right. So like the correct. I think the correct political term for, for when black people call them is like locks. Locks, okay. And then dread locks is when, I think when they do it, I don't know. But it's, I think like the Vikings did it or something like that. They always had like locks. Did they? Look that up, Harrison. Look up Vikings with dreadlocks. If I'm wrong, then. I mean, I think they for sure had them on that TV show. Right, <laughs> right. 
Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Look, okay, cool. look they, oh, that guy's killing. Look at that. It's that's hard. valid. That's yo, he he shows up to the to, to the crib. Oh, he's like, got cornrows. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Invited in, straight up invited You're to the You're telling me the, the ancient Germans had cornrows? <laughs> 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 Actually, I've never seen a white person with cornrows, but he he looks good with them though. I almost my best friend got married in uh-huh. uh, Cancun, mm-hmm. and one of my homegirls was like, "You should let me dread your hair for the wedding." I, I, I should have done it. I know I should have. Yeah, I don't know. I just like, experiment. Like it's it's hair. Like it's just like what do you th- what do you bring <laughs> down to it? It's hair. Now that I don't know, but hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> All right. Why don't you put some beads in your shit, dude? <laughs> Now this, now this, he 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 gone a little he gone a little too little too far with that. I, yeah. I don't know what that is. A little with the beads in the hair. I don't know. Um. Look like he got a little sugar in his tank. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he does yoga. You know. Yeah. He, does. he looks like he would uh, like do private yoga at your house and fuck your wife probably. Probably. That's what he looks like. Probably. Right. Just lean into me. Right. Lean into right. me. Let your spirit come come right. into. You know what I mean? <laughs> he talks like an Indian guy for some reason, but he's just a white dude with dreads. There was like uh, there was some video, right? Um, there was like on a beach, and I think they were like meditating, and it was like, uh, I think it was like a no touch orgasm type kind of thing. What? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. Can we look it up? Do you know what it's called? Um. Don't type in no touch <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> Don't type that in. <laughs> go on YouTube. All right, go no, on YouTube. Uh, we just can't play it with sound if it's on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh. There'll, there'll be bitches uh, about it. Um, you're pretty, uh, much, you're pretty, much, pretty much talking like Tantra, right? Like yeah, tantric it's, it's, yoga? Tantric. It, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's like, and people's like, oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look I'm up like, something like that. See if you can find like, is it really like that? Tantric yoga, whatever. And you always wonder, like, are those people actually like getting their rocks off, right. or are they I faking wonder it? If it's like real or not, that's what I. It's kind of like those cults, you know, like where they're always they're like, all right, now we're gonna do healing. Everybody, come up to the cult leader and like, I'm gonna put my <laughs> hand in front of your head, and they're like. <laughs> 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 It's like and the, they're like, I've been in this cult for seven years trying to get to the healing, and right. he said I can come to the healing tonight. All I have to do is let him have sex with my wife, and then I too can have the healing. <laughs> Mid Sobar, right? Yeah. So it's basically Mid Sobar. Reminds me of that. Um, you, you probably got a. Uh, God, I wish we could find it. I wish we knew exactly what the. This is a deep rabbit hole. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah maybe we don't. Maybe we maybe we right, should. Right. Maybe we should. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So people getting a bag off of like, all right, let me. Yeah. Orgasm. Orgasm yeah. now. Just come. You and know, they're like, just yeah, come. Do it. <clears throat> That's crazy. That is wild. That's crazy. And it's like, who are the crazy people in those groups that are like, right, vibing to that? And it's like, if you are faking that, yeah, here, right, That's right, wild. Right. But I mean, it, it has to be a to uh, to some degree that it like. It happens. Yeah. Because if everybody's in on it. My thing, it's like, and I mean, you know, this is getting a little dirty, a little deep with it. But like, if you, if that is real, okay. And like somebody can just have the spirit and be like, I'm going to make you come. Right. Right. If you're a dude, do you skip the boner phase and just come out of your flaccid dick? Or do you, or do it? Are you like, you know what I mean? Do you go through the normal, uh, steps? to achieve an, an orgasm you know what i mean like if, if the tantric guy is like this is it just kind of like you're pissing your pants you know what i mean but it's but it i that's what that's what i'm confused about yeah grow yeah grow grow, grow for me grow i want like it's got to be like a fetish like somebody's got to be into that hey everybody's into something you everybody's know what I'm into something, bro. there's there's you know there's many many kinks out there you there's know a lot of kinks bro the world the world would be less fun if there wasn't <laughs> Wasn't exactly. a bunch of people into weird exactly. shit, bro. Exactly. Um, so you're still doing the uh, the reaction shit, and that's still going good for you. Are you? I got a question for you. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. gonna ask you. We're gonna we bring the realness on the pod, okay? Let's do it. Are you ever tired of doing? That? Yes, I'm tired now. <laughs> yes, I'm tired right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, reactions, absolutely. <laughs> that's why I'm like trying to like branch out. Yeah. More things. Yeah, for sure. So like, and then the other thing. So like, I guess it's. You kind of have to like get yourself hype about it, right? If you're kind of tired of doing it, right? Because you're still doing it and like people still look to you for music recommendations. They look to you for promoting their new shit. So it's like you kind of like are providing a service really for 
listeners and bands but it's like you're getting tired of it so it's like that now that's a weird that's kind of a pickle yeah. right mm -hmm. like so um like what kind of what what do you what do you do to like stay into it like do you have to just kind of like you know pull back and just do something else and then for a couple of days or something and then go back into it or like so i typically have like two or three days where i just do like reactions and i like do like a couple of weeks ahead okay and then when i'm not reacting i'm not listening to any type of metal yeah that try to kind of keeps it fresh for me so okay. if, I'm, if i'm in the car i'm putting on like little uzi vert I'm oh on, yeah I'm yeah, on, yeah. I'm, I'm like putting on rap you yeah know, straight up yeah and then when i'm like in front of the computer i'm like all right let's get into this metal you know what i'm saying that's kind of how like it is for me recently too with like even just like being in a band and like b doing the metal thing yeah. it's like i i'm so almost tactfully like detached from from what's going on with, right. with metal yeah because like a i don't want to be influenced by anybody right. i don't want anybody being like oh this just sounds like this or like mm -hmm. you know what i mean and then b it's like uh I don't know. I I'm such an old man now. I think I think that's that's aging is what it is because like when I hear new shit and I don't want to put any names. I I I'm proud of any band that's crushing regardless of whether or not the music like gets me stoked. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. like I can I can look at music objectively and be like this is objectively great mm -hmm. and it checks all the boxes. But for some reason doesn't get me hyped. You right. know what I mean? And right. it's like, so I can like separate it like that instead of just being like, I don't like it, so it sucks, right? right. Which yeah. a lot of people, a lot of like young kids, and I remember being that kid yeah. that was like, I don't like this and it sucks. It sucks, yeah. Because I don't like it. Right. And I am the master authority of music. <laughs> right, right, you right. Get, you see a lot of people yeah. like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I used to be like that as well. Yeah. Now I'm just like, listen. Do you think this whole thing has made you like more open-minded? To music? For sure. Yeah. In, in general, yeah, just to a lot. Um, cause like I listen to a lot of music, you know, mm -hmm. like my channel has thousands of videos. So that, it's impressive how much work you've done, bro. I'm appreciate proud of it. I'm very really proud of you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Day one. Day one. So like, um, like when listening to like a band, sometimes I'll give feedback. Sometimes I won't, you know, mm -hmm. if it's warranted, I'll be like, Hey, this is great. But I would do this this can you give me an example without like name dropping somebody that like some something you said to somebody that, right right and then like or, do you have an example of a time when like somebody got like pissed mm -hmm. and then a time when somebody was like thank you Kim, i appreciate it i wouldn't take your feet right so there was a time a band and i sent me a track they'd be like hey can you react to this i'd be like listen i wasn't really vibe with it mm. i was like why i'm like <laughs> i was like well um why does everybody think their music slaps <laughs> I was like, the production wasn't there. Right. Like, which that's not a hard. That's not exactly. a hard thing to fix. Go exactly. To a guy. I was like, listen. stop trying to do it yourself. And I like, I even say like, listen, the production wasn't really there. Come, like you, you come back. Like I'm not gonna blacklist you. Right. Forever. Come back. Yeah. And it was like, no. It's like, all right. Dude, and that's well, it's so interesting. Like what we we're talking about in the car. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like uh, right. about comedy mm -hmm. and just about how different it is from. Um, from from the music world, mm -hmm. the thing that I'm figuring out with trying to do the comedy thing sometimes is like with metal, you you practice it and you write it in private, in secret, right? And get it all ready, yeah, right in the in right. in your chambers, mm -hmm. you know, and then and then you put it out to the world when it's ready, and when you're rehearsed and spicy on stage, you right. go and play it, right? Yeah. yeah, and it's like with stand up, you have to practice. The only way to write and like work on your stuff is to do it in front of people. And so imagine yeah. like, like, you know, you're hitting the guitar here, like, uh, 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 like practicing in front of people, yeah. in front of a crowd. Yeah. I would never, I would never work. Yeah. It's like, just cool how like different it is. But that's the one thing that's like, you're so lucky in music if somebody gives you feedback. Exactly. Because everybody, it's such a participation trophy sport. Mm -hmm. And I've said that a million times on here, but it's like, it's such a like, yay, good job. Like, mm -hmm. like good job for trying. You know what I mean? Which is which is cool, and I'm not saying we shouldn't do that. But then you give try to give feedback, and somebody's mm -hmm. like, "I don't agree with your feedback." You know what I mean? It's right. like, bro, like you're so lucky if you if somebody doesn't just say, "Sounds good, dude, rock yeah. on." Yeah. You know, because then because then you're delusional about how you're getting getting sold like a false right level of like how good your shit is. Right. I think there's like too many yes men. Yeah. Too many like. If you can't take cri criticism on your music, then what do you do in music for? You think everything you're gonna write is perfection? 
So there was there was a band that I did, you know, take their video. But in the video, I said a couple things. You know, I was like, I would have did this right here. But I was like, overall, still a great song. Go check it out. They right. did not like that. They what? Was like, yeah, they was like, listen, our vocalist think you really didn't like the song. Um, oh, well. They was like, you didn't get up at all. I'm like. Whoa, whoa. So so you think that this is a game? Right. You think so, this is all fake and that I'm right. not so genuine? I was like, yeah, so I was like, I'm not an actor, my baby. Wow. I was like, hey, I'm giving you your money back. I'm not posting the video. And you're blacklisted. That's how you get yourself blacklisted yeah. by being a bitch. Oh yeah, yeah. Like if you ain't, if you were like, shit. hey, I didn't get this result. I'm like, I don't want to work with you. And then back to the drawing board. Yeah. Like those people are delusional. Yeah. Like they think. Yeah. They thought they was. It's like, funny because comics will call other comics out like mm -hmm. this if you're being delusional. Like if you think you're funny, you'd be like, dude, you're you're delusional. <laughs> you think so and so like they'll say it on podcasts that so and so thinks they're they're funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. And there's no, like, if you suck, mm -hmm. you can feel it in your bones. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> in the moment. Live, like, in yeah. the moment. You're yeah. like, I fucking suck. Yeah, you're like, I, need to, I need to work harder. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, and I, I watch a lot of, like, cooking shit, like, on TV, like, Gordon Ramsay. Mm -hmm. Gordon Ramsay says, like, and I feel like it's this way in music, too. Like I just said, it's like, you're so lucky if somebody comes to the kitchen and goes, hey, this was overcooked and I didn't like it. Yeah. Be and, and. The correct response is thank you so much because most people will just never come back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They won't even write a review. Right. They'll just never come back. And so it's like in in those kind of worlds, like cooking, music, it's like you should take that feedback in. And you're not just any, but like if, I don't know, if you came at me with some feedback, I'd be like, thanks, bro. You know what I mean? Right, like, and, right. And it's, it's, it's just, that's it. It's literally, like people take that to like heart. They're like... My music will never be the same, you know? Or they're like, write a yeah. diss track. Remember, the, the whole diss track thing was used to be. And thing. it's like, even if they think you're stupid and you don't know what you're talking about, right. like, you know okay, what I mean? Yeah. I'm just one guy. The you fact know? that people think that they're going to get the, that you're going to get up and head kick Bobby right. to any song yeah. just because mm -hmm. they gave you a hundred bucks or whatever to look at their shit. Right. It's like that's the that's the roulette you're playing mm -hmm. with with me, bro. Yeah. With what I do, like you th you throw me the cash for my time. I'm gonna look at your shit and I'm gonna give you the honest the honest answer. Yeah. Like if I don't like it, it's like well, you won't see it on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah. I was like, but that's the thing is bands bands have blew my mind. Some bands like this is a lot of bands like when they take my feedback, they come back hard. Yeah, they come back like hard, hard. And I'm like, yo, that's that's the fucking that's the recipe right there. Exactly, that's I'm what like, you need to yo, do. This is it. Yes, I'm like, and then you're proud of them. You're yeah, like, then exactly. you feel invested. Exactly. You're like, you're like, man, like I said some shit to them and they did exactly. They checked. They went back exactly. and on the to the drawing board right. and fixed all that shit. But then I'm like, listen, I'm just one person. Like, I'm yeah, just, but don't, you know, right? you you kind of represent, I think, a demographic of listeners that like, you know, like you like what people what. What, yeah, what people, what people you people you like, like good shit, and that's that's you know, and it, even if it's not, sometimes you'll post stuff that doesn't have the best production. Yeah, but it's like the music is good, and it's making you fucking exactly. move your shit. Exactly. You know? So that's what that's like another thing. Like I love that old school, like garage oh, yes. type. I wanted to talk about this. Keep going. That garage type. The shitty production. You like You're the like, shitty. It's so like <laughs> that's what people don't understand. Like it is hard. Like. MySpace era type production is the hardest thing even to this day. I'm sorry, I'll pick that over in modern metal yeah. any day. Yeah. And like that's why some people are like, keep the production was there. I was like, do you hear that snare? Do you hear that dodgeball snare? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, do you hear like it makes you feel some type of because like that's where I grew up at. So like yeah. I love those events. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you think that's what I wanted to say is like, do you think there's uh like a golden era of music? Cause that's what I was getting ready to say earlier. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'll bounce around a lot, but oh, I try sure. to bring it it's back. Good. But um like like I feel like recently when I'm listening to metal, like I keep going back to like like White Chapels, yeah. like uh, new era of corruption like mm. that's my and it, that has a little grimier production on it too yeah. and it was just like like and so it's like anything from like 06 to like 2012 at well, the latest yeah latest. at the latest yeah and then it's like and even some of my favorite bands it's like they're in in props to them it's not i'm not saying they're bad now they change their sound because they get bored with playing the same a lot of these yep. guys have been in bands for 20 years now yeah. or whatever you know what i mean like mm -hmm. um and it's hard to keep consistently, you know, putting out 
shit that's true to you. Yeah. And like, if you're like, man, I'm sick of this, I'm gonna do something different. But then also making it good consistently. That's why I love like uh, Born of Osiris, just because they constantly put out like good music. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of bands. I, I just can't for some reason something about it that I can't. It's like I don't know if it's heavy for the sake of being heavy sometimes, or yeah. like well, I don't know what it is, but it's like some of the new shit that's popping. Like I'll, I just can't like get excited about it, and it bums me out. And yeah. I'll, I'll try to. What I'll do is I'll go back in a couple year, in a year and like listen to it, let's see if it. my taste changed because it's pro it's probably a me thing. But I've totally been like you said when you're listening to like different shit. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm not gearing up to like, you know, record some shit or whatever or, like. I, uh, I I listened. I've been listening to like oldies, man. Yeah. Like uh, like the Commodores and shit. Why so I'm easy, you know. Like <laughs> I've been singing a lot yeah. too, and I like singing, dude. Yeah. Singing's just like I wanted my music to have, and I'll show you some shit in the car after this. Mm -hmm. But like I wanted the new bystander stuff to have like more like emotion mm -hmm. in it because mm -hmm. I felt like like I don't know like it like not that I wasn't putting emotion into my old shit, but just like I don't know. I felt like. I was I went back and started listening to this old music like Incubus like shit that I grew up listening to yeah. Audio Slave yeah. uh, you know new metal stuff and Alice in Chains and shit like that like the shit that my dad used to listen to with me and it's like that shit feels yeah like you get like you have more feeling you, you know have more I mean? connection to it than the modern yeah like. yeah then just like okay let's go and try to make a heavy album right right just for being because we've been doing that right and it's fun and I like right. I love our music but it's like how do we how do I make it more fun for myself? So I so I want to keep doing it, mm. and it's like I gotta add some sauce. Oh, that's for sure. You know, I think bands that like come back, it's kind of like a double edged sword. Like if you've been doing it for like twenty years, it really is, because you have those old school fans that expect a sound, mm -hmm. and then you have your new fans that expect your newer sound that you've already been putting out. Right. You know what I'm I saying? I feel like White Chapel is a perfect example. That's a White Chapel is a perfect example. Um, Bring Me the Horizon is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Uh. They're, you know, that let's say Bring Me the Horizon, their new fan base don't know their deathcore days. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. They don't know Pray for Plagues. No. But if they brought back a Pray for Plague style album right now. <laughs> right. Ah, yeah. right now. <laughs> exactly. Oh. So it's like, it's like, how do you do in between? How do you cater to both fan base? Now bands are just like, listen, I'm, we're just going to write what we like. You Dude, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's like the tip I'm on too. I'm right. just like, I don't, I'm done. Like I said in the car too, I'm, I toured with one of my favorite bands. Yeah. I, I always wanted to go on a big tour with a big band, yeah, and go to Canada or something. And yeah, we did that. Yeah, and so it's like now what? Now what? Now do stuff for me. Now mm. do stuff for me for fun, right? Yeah. Instead of like for the milestones or for the manager or for the late, try to get on a label or right. whatever. Try to get the the fans of this band or that band to like us. So it's like, yeah, I think the having fun thing is so important. Cause so many people out there, it's important. whether it's fucking music or art, any kind of art, it's like a lot. There's a lot of people that I feel like, like we're all inspired by somebody that yeah. gets us into doing something. Mm -hmm. But but then you kind of you, it's easy to lose sight of like the fun, and you're just kind of like trying to get get clicks or get or blow up or what you know what I mean. Or you're trying yeah. to be like this band or be like that band, and it's like, dude, like have fun. Oh, man. Just have some fun, and the ones having the most fun are the ones doing the best. They're doing yeah. the best uh, business-wise. You know what I mean? Because they're having fun. That's what it's all about. It's yeah. having fun at the end of the day. How? Um, so I, I think the last time we did the podcast, you weren't in a band. No. Nope. We were talking about your old man. Tell me tell me about Tell us about that again. <laughs> do, all right. Do we have videos, <laughs> too, we could pull up of your old band? Can we? Uh, yeah, there, yeah, there's, yeah, there's there's videos on What's videos. it called? He can work on that while more we're talking than, about it. More than you can bear. More than he. What's more up, guys? We're more than you can bear. <laughs> Yo, you know This what's song so is called. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a funny one. This song is called, uh, My Heart Breaks. <laughs> so that's like the funniest thing. So uh, when I was on stage with More Than You Can Bear, I sounded, Zach, I would do that type of You voice. were a vocalist? Yeah, it was the vocals. Oh, okay. I did that type of voice. I was like, "What's good, everybody? We're more than you can bear." <laughs> yeah, I yeah. literally did because everybody. All right, was everybody. Doing it. I mean, honestly, that's how you're supposed to right. do it, but you kind of want to find your own. 
Yeah. You know, yours would yours would just be like your own <laughs> voice, but just just spiced up. Mine when I do, dude, I directly ripped off. Shout out Brandon Butler, uh-huh. my homie from uh, Vale Maya. Yeah. Uh, original vocalist. He he. I remember seeing him one time at the Roseland in Portland, like a bigger venue. Yeah. And he was he has this voice. Let's go. <laughs> and he's like, everybody move. And I literally was like, I'm gonna do that, but like not from Chicago, because right. he's got this little Chicago t- yeah. twinge on it. Everybody move now. <laughs> like, bang your head. You know what I mean? And and it was just so fucking. I was like, oh, as a kid when I was hearing that voice. But yeah. That's anyway, it. so you were that like, so. I copied uh, Maddie Mullins from Memphis Mayfire. Oh my god! Hey, we're Memphis Mayfire. Get up, dude. He's yeah. so annoying on stage too. <laughs> this one I never forget, dude. I I never forget too. Like I saw him one time and he was like, "This next song," because he's so like tiny and this. Uh, no, no shade, Maddie. I'm just jo- joking around yeah, here. Yeah. But uh, but he's like, "This song goes out to anyone who's ever been or has a family member who's ever been in the military." Like, that's exactly what he sounded like. And me and my girlfriend were just like, dude, this is so dog, funny. That was like my, because I was like, dang, he sounds. They crush. Oh, they crush it. Yeah. And now he's in, um, well, he does touring for uh, some big, like, huge band. I forgot. It, 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 uh, we can look that up, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, Type in Maddie Mullins. Touring for blank. Touring for <laughs> blank in a separate tab or something, yeah. Um, but so. So what kind of music were you guys playing back then? Like, oh, we was like metalcore, deathcore ish. Like we was, we was heavy. We was, yeah. we, 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 were you were you singing at all? Were you trying to? No, you no, doing clean? Uh, no singing. But it was, I was straight. So like, I only, I'm like a winter course. I always, always, always doing high, like highs. So like highs, <sighs> highs was like my, nice. my like grab. I don't know if you, you could do, you can do audio, you can't do audio. Uh, we can always try it. You know what I mean? We could maybe do it for a second if we pull up. Uh, which it's, one? Which video is it? It's copyright free. Uh, oh, no. uh, are we looking? No, no. Go back to the other tab. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go to YouTube and type in like. Uh, oh, so more than you can bear was an actual bear, like. <laughs> 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 Dude, I had was a that feeling. just a typo, <laughs> or was you yeah. trying? You were trying to be like I wrestled a bear no, once. We, we was, we was, we was, we was legit. Like we was like we're gonna do this. <laughs> Did you Listen. have bears on the merch? <laughs> Listen, that was our logo. That was our logo. It was like a bear, a bear with like a, a bee in its mouth, bro. It was legit. It was legit. It was legit. We're gonna look for a picture of that, bro. You can type in one of our songs, Bay Harbor Butcher. I based the EP off of Dexter. That's pretty hard, right? For two thousand something or right. other, you know. There he is. Oh, there he is. And that's that's our. That's, All right, that's like our reaction. That's my old intro. I need to bring that back. <laughs> yes, dude. Ooh. This was when there was zero black kids in the scene hey. too, moshing, right? <laughs> like you were the <laughs> only ones doing this shit. Bro, th- that's what I that's what What's I did good, before everybody? reaction. Let's spin down middle from the back side this aisle. See the Yes. This dude. is off of I got my little brother here. Off cell phone too. <laughs> Bro, you always had the the funny editing sauce. Wait, is this a video? Are you gonna do vocals in this video or no? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. So if you if you want to see like me with doing vocals, you yeah. go back. All right, go back real quick. Yeah, no, 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 no. Look at you, so young and Bro, I was so like young 22, and twenty two, right? Just starry eyed yeah. about the future, oh, just not yeah. knowing what was in store. Could you have ever Literally, imagined? No. Could you have ever? I mean, you're basically famous. You're, you're you're basically internet. I know it doesn't. It probably feels weird, but people love you, and yeah, you're you know. It's really weird. Or you're you very, do, yeah, you just click on the first video. You're a very cool, humble dude too. You know. <laughs> the bear, dude. I love it. You guys had the marketing way down, dude. This is like 2013, I think. Oh, the Amir, the huh? Dude, yeah. There it is. You see, you see the bear. <laughs> All right, the bear. Nice. Yeah, my highs were unlocked. Yeah, I had that grit. Reminds me of as Blood Runs Black. Yeah. That's or like uh, our Dr. Acula, or was it? Is there a video of you doing the vocals? Yeah. All right, I want to see a video. Let's pull a video up real quick. You can bear live. 
See, I, I was making fun of, I was dogging on the bear being in the logo, and I thought it, it actually, was gonna be cornier, but, but it's, it's actually, actually hard, hard right? It actually goes hard with the knife behind it and shit. Uh, you could scroll down, uh, see if they're, um, or type in Goat House after live. Goat House? Yeah. There's a, a venue in, in uh, Tampa. Oh, did she delete the video? Oh. Well, if you go back one, then there's one from, uh, yeah, right there. That's, I just yeah, want right to see right you with, yeah, the, that with the mic in your hand, bro. Yeah. Yes. Crushing. That's me. Is that the Haven? That is the Haven. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably smell like cigarettes right. on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it bothered me that they, they just let people openly just smoke. Yeah. Like, I'm like. Here, pause for a sec. This messes up vocals. Like, oh, dude, it's like so when you bad. Suck it, you're like sucking in straight. For, for people that don't know about the Haven in Orlando, yeah. it's like the venue in the area, right? Yeah. And you get there, and it looks like it, it is one of those bars where sad old people go to gamble during the day and smoke <laughs> cigarettes inside. <laughs> and then at 6 30 p.m., yeah. they kick those people out and say, yeah. okay, Candace, enough slots for the day. Yeah. The, the metal kids are going to come in. And she's like, well, 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 yeah. Didn't even win anything you know what i mean and then they and then they kick them out and then it becomes it becomes a, a venue which i gotta say the sound in there is sick as fuck yeah. and the sound guy there i forget his name i'm sorry but he's always so dope to us mm -hmm. you know that guy i don't know what what his name is but um i forget right now but that place it, we've We've never, we've always just played in front of like two people there yeah. because we always got like double booked where there's like a show in Tampa. Yeah. Brand of Sacrifice is playing in Tampa. So all the Orlando kids go over see them and like we're a little band. So, you know, it's like that we don't have the promo on it. Yeah. And so we always play, we're, we're just like, all right, boys, let's do like a sick practice. Like, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? In front this of these, practice, let's just go yeah. hard as possible yeah. for these four people. You know what I mean? But like. This venue, it's like it reeks of cigarette smoke. Yeah, they they smoke cigs inside while you're playing. Yeah, and it's like, dude, it's so hard to do vocals in there. Dude, you'll see it's only yeah, like yeah, yeah. the band really. Bands are just the one who's supporting. Like that's how it was. And yeah, 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 yeah. The the bar was so close to the stage. Mm -hmm. There's literally no room. Did for they people to did stay they move in. it back? I think, I think oh, I think they fixed okay. it. But yeah, it's it's at that time it was it was terrible. Yeah, just go to a somewhere in the middle. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My lows were terrible. That's why I said my highs were. Dude, you were on point. Yeah. How many years ago highs. was this? This was 2014. Would you ever do another? Would you ever? That sounds good. You guys were killing it, bro. Oh, you were doing the. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta moan a little bit. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> you remember when that was big? Everybody's like, who I don't want to that's that was like a whole thing for like for like like in years we're gonna look back at that and be like that was a weird time north lane was weird you know that whole everybody wanted to be north lane for a minute <laughs> <laughs> actually got that down to a T. And then I, ah, <laughs> it's, it was like, how many times can you slip into it, dude? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's actually, you know. And it kind of goes hard, actually. It, that's the thing, it did, the time, anyway. It went so hard. Like, right. people was like, dang. That's yeah. a tight vocal. You know and now saying? it's just knocked oh loose going, ah, <laughs> ah. You know, like, now that's the new thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. That's the new vote. That's the new hot, hardcore shit. <laughs> <laughs> How sh how <laughs> shitty can you sound? You know what I mean? Yeah. Is uh, what is what is the what is the uh, the argument? Is knock loose metalcore or oh my god hardcore? Blow my fucking right. brains out! <laughs> I don't ever ever want to. The fact that those conversations even happen for real, <laughs> yeah. it makes me it makes me concerned. Bro, people I'm concerned dying. for people's mental health that they're <laughs> that they're concerned that you have too much time. Go to the gym. You have too much time. Get another job. You get a side hustle. Start painting. Yeah, you know what I mean. Do something other than worry about what genre bands are. Right. Good it's like, God. They're like diehards. They're like, what? metalcore. Oh, excuse me. They're, 
I've been listening to them since Laugh Tracks. As a chairman of the board here <laughs> yeah. for subgenres, uh, I'm going to have to disagree. Uh, excuse me, I have my time. Excuse me, let me have my time. You know what I mean? It's like, this is not a congressional hearing yeah. about what genre this is. Maybe we should have those. Right. I, <laughs> you, I, I order in my court, you're, it's you up there <laughs> yeah. with one of those white wigs on, dude. Now listen, yeah. Yeah, we are here today to finally put this argument to rest. Is knock loose, hardcore, or metalcore? The jury. We have not come to a consensus. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. Well, it's not hardcore if, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? if there's blast beats in it. It's not hardcore, goddammit. I've been saying that. I'm, my name is Malcolm, and I'm from Virginia, and uh, I represent the, the <laughs> Richmond chapter of the genre wars. And... Uh, <laughs> That's the thing, bro. It's, like, wild. it's it's like I don't care. It's like it's it's good music. Like just listen to it. Just sometimes I see this shit arguments online, and I'm just like, bro. Yeah. Imagine caring about some of this shit. That's why I stay off the internet mostly. Yeah, that's good. I just post. Yeah. Going about my day. Yeah. My buddy, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bring him up because he's awesome. My buddy was like, hey. What's the, can you give me Hardcore Keem's info? I'm like, I can't just be giving my boys info. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But he, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, shout out Squatch. Anyway, my boy Squatch, um, fire rapper. Mm. I wish his. I wish I knew exactly how to spell his name. Yeah, that's uh, Swim or whatever logo. Um, but yeah, you should check his shit out. He's dope. He's dope. But he was like, hey, like. He's a rapper? Yeah, he's a rapper. He's like, yo, let me get Hardcore Keem's info. I'm like, bro, I'll tell him about you. I like, I like adding like rap stuff to the channel. People hate it. But I'm like. That's so channel. weird. Yeah, yeah. Why the fucking hate it? Oh my god. Oh. The most the let's they claimed it. Oh, let's get let's, into it. Let's get on this. Let's get in this. I hate when I post a video and there's like rapping and then there's metal. Be like, oh, the rapping killed it. Oh, oh, the, oh, Keem, I can't I, I don't know if I can follow it anymore. That that rapping just it really just set me it like it's like they get triggered, like mm. wholly triggered. They're like, there's uh uh there's a <laughs> there is a a like people like how you said uh, a demographic demographic well <laughs> a little bit of a majority that they're like hardcore like anti-rap rap does not belong in metal keep that to your hippity hoppity self <laughs> <laughs> they're like hardcore hardcore it's so it. funny and mm -hmm. it's the and it's the people who are like we're weird, right? Like weird, like our music's weird, right? right. Like they take yeah. pride in like our clothes are weird, our yeah. music's weird, like we're we're edgy, <laughs> we're different, yeah. right? But whoa, not that different. Well, and well, I love it. Yeah. They're like they're like we love Keen, we love having a black guy in the scene until you're a black guy right. and you like rap. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? They're like they're like whoa, Wait not that whoa. Whoa, 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 not that much. Don't show too much. Your whoa, I thought now. you were. Right. I thought you were one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I need right. you to be exactly how I want you to be. Exactly. It's like that. It really is. It really seems it like really it. Seems is, like yeah. It, yeah, it's it's interesting. I, I still post it though. I don't care, bro. You gotta just do it for you, right? You know what I mean, right? And like, so now it came to the point like before, I'll even play the video and I'm like, uh, I'll sample a little bit. I'll be like, hey, listen, this is a new one. Like it has a little rap in it, and the people are like, oh, thanks for saving me. Oh my god, I won't even listen to it. Damn it. I don't even, and uh, I just even it's, I keep coming back to it, but it's these people that like. They, I feel like the general consistency, like we're open minded, like we're like we're experimental and weird with our music. We're so edgy and different. And then it's like when something is fucking super yeah. experimental mm -hmm. and some of the dopest fucking shit has the rap shit. And that Notions band from here, <sighs> killing, Notions crushing. Is so hard. They're so hard. They're hard. They are so sick. They're killing it. Yeah, they are killing it. Right They're now. next up. Yeah, I mean. For sure, it's on. It's all right there for the taking. For yeah. those guys. It's yeah. fucking dope. And I've seen hey, them yo, live shout out too. Notions. Yeah. Hopefully they'll be at the show, maybe. I don't know. Or some <clears throat> I know they're playing a show or they just played. They might be playing a show in C San Antonio. I think they might be on that Death Fest thing or something. I don't Probably. I can't remember. They're I know like the vocalist is um going on tour with uh Dropout Kings. That's uh, sick. Yeah. And that band's sick, sick too. Dropout sick as Kings fuck. too. How do you right. know People like hate that? On Dropout Kings. Yo, those are the What's homies wrong like with you. Their Dropout Kings is hard. I love the new metal. I love the I love when there's like rap influences yes. in metal. I just think it makes it way better like the song way better yeah absolutely well be and i mean like the best vote i mean who's one of the best bands in the genre that everyone loves volumes right or is that a is that a is that a a, a touchy subject do people do people are people hate or love now because they change their sound and everything 
So that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? Volumes. Remember, they had like the via, the, the via type sound. Mm-hmm. And then, so it's like, but I love volumes. I love all volumes. That's me. I just love it. I just love I, Like that, that feature they did with Puya, with uh, Puya hard. hopped on one of them tracks. Hard. I thought that was hard. That was next level. But yeah. Of course, it, people At the like, time, it was like in the yeah. genre, never been done. They've exactly. always kind of been pioneers and mm-hmm. shit. And that's exactly. it's so funny when you see comments for like a band like that. Mm-hmm. Like when people, when they release something, like even when they release their last album, like, volume, right. yeah. this band died when, you know, Diego's, you know, passed away or whatever. And it's like, dude. Volumes has always pushed the Push the, the envelope, envelope exactly. on like how they want to sound. Yeah, they threw the cleans in via second album, mm-hmm. shook the world up a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> edge of the year, I will, <laughs> Don't I cry to that song <laughs> every <laughs> single time. <laughs> yeah, that, that song makes yeah, it, that song is powerful. It's still powerful, dude. Mm-hmm. I've I've cried in my car on a bad day <laughs> to uh, intake back in the day <laughs> oh, when I was a young man. Song, Come yeah. on, bro. Yeah. They Shit have is the fucking fire. I'm song. trying to get, you know what I'm trying to get? A little podcast fucking With snack. Mike? I'm trying to get Ooh. Gus in here. Come on, talk to Abe. I'm Come trying on. to get Gus. Put in the air. I'm trying to k- tell your side of things. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm trying to air. stir it up. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I like all those guys. <laughs> yeah. I, I grew up. They're a wild, wild bunch, yeah. those guys. <laughs> I've only, I think I think I met Mike once. Which Mike? Terry. Terry. Mike. Yeah. 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 Sorry, there's two Mike's. There's two Mike's now. Two, well, yeah. M-Y-K. You know? Yeah. And one of my buddies out here randomly like knows uh Mike Barr from LA shit. Yeah. Dang. Photographer homie out here. But yeah, it's uh it's wild what people will they'll people will pretend that they're so open minded mm-hmm. and then oh and oh yeah. On oh, one more one more thing about the rap. So oh, okay. You know the Browning. We have a song with J. Kill called oh, Carnage. J. Kill's tight. J. Kill's super tight. Yeah. Great guy. We have a song with uh him called Carnage. He raps in it, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, the we the most comment we get about like whenever like Carnage is played is like, oh, I remember Browning when they didn't have rapping. But you want to know the caveat? You want to know the, the thing that they swear they're like a super fan? The Browning started out as a rap EDM project. Yes. In 2005, they had rap. So funny. So you so don't even like, know shit. You're right, you're totally you're full right. of shit. You're, you're totally full. Fake. Of, yeah, exactly. you are a faker. You're a fa- no, you no, don't no. really know. No, dude. The worst, the worst diss you could ever call somebody. A poser. Oh, you're a poser, <laughs> bro. Quick name five Bronx songs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude, I was just. Oh my god, I'm so glad you brought that up. I was just at a. a the, the, this venue where they do a bunch of comedy shows. My mm-hmm. buddies, uh, comedian homies, work there, and uh, I, they were doing an emo night there last night. Right. Um, and uh, and we were just talking about a couple of funny things about like I'm trying to write a bit about emo night. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And so I'm trying to just because it's turned into this weird funny thing where like because it's so popular now, like you I, you always see these dudes that are like swaggy dudes with gold chains and like forwards hats on, like, yeah. like a fucking yeah. Yankees hat on. And like, they're just scouting for goth pussy. <laughs> like they are just like, they are, they never listen to the music and they'll like, they'll like pretend to dance to like, you know, I chimed in with a yeah. haven't you people ever heard of. And they're going like, Dang, that was they're, really good. They're they're, they're 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 mouthing like at the wrong time. It's like yeah. I chime. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a, one of those dubbed kung fu movies. He's just like he's he's like mouthing it wrong, just trying right. to look like, and then like scouting for goth pussy. Right. You know what I mean? Scout, <laughs> scanning, scanning. You know what I mean? And it's like and it's so funny how it's turned into that. And then also, we need to rein the playlist in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. on what is emo? There yeah. needs to be a commission. Oh. There needs to be. A chapter oh, of, of 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 because 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 last night I heard like Miley Cyrus right. that ain't he he's like everybody put your hands up you're, you're like, like this is not, yeah, I never I never cried about this in seventh grade <laughs> this is not emo it's like the playlist needs to be reined in oh that's another like section like the emo kid like who used to be emo like that's another, emo court that's what, what they call debate? elder emos that's like, another debate. That's like they're like hardcore about what's emo, what's not. <laughs> like you know when Jimmy, well, you know when Jimmy Butler did the, um, I don't know if you saw Jimmy Butler did the. I don't the know whole, who that is. I don't think. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. He's a basketball I told you, player. I'm, I'm kind of detached. Just, from just stuff. type in Jimmy Butler emo. He's a basketball player. He plays for Miami. He, oh, 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 yeah. Pull the, that picture up. He did the. He did the like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. He's gonna pull it up. Jimmy Butler emo. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're moving slow as molasses over there. No, I was kidding. Uh, you're, type it into Google Images. Just type it into Google up top. But yeah, I, so so was this a gag or like? No, so he like listens. He actually <laughs> listens to like our our type music, right? That's so funny. No, he, he's he's my profile picture for uh, Dude, yes, for Facebook. Yes. So like the e the emo people, well, I guess the emo. They was like, my my lifestyle is not a joke. They was mad at this. Some people were legit mad at this. And I'm like, no way. Yeah. Really? Like, Come on. Fucking dorks, dude. I'm like, let people have fun. Like again, again, that weird, that weird thing, that weird thing that white people do, my friend. People love they, gatekeeping. They like gatekeeping, and again, they it's like that you hear like, oh, we need more black people to like this music. We want more black people in the scene and want right. to be more. And then and then the guy from the Miami Heat, there's, right. here's your guy. Exactly. Oh, we don't like it because you're making a joke, because it's a joke to, to, exactly. to me. It seems like a joke to me, so I don't like it. So and like, it's like, what's wrong with you? Somebody dude? sees that, I'll be like, dang, he's having fun. You know what I'm saying? That is so fun. And then the people will be like, what is emo? <laughs> Look They'll at type that it picture in. down there with him <laughs> brushing his hair out of his fucking eyes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like he's having fun. There's nothing wrong with that. No, that's awesome. He's having fun. And he really did used to listen to the music yeah, like too. Yeah, to Mayday Parade. All Honestly, that. Yeah. you can't look that good. You can't do it that good. Yeah. You can't pull it off that good unless yeah. unless you were a real one. Yeah. That's exactly that is an experienced Literally. emo guy. Yeah. <laughs> look, that <laughs> picture is fucking awesome, dude. Holy shit. And like I'm like, dang, I'm like, he's having fun, man. I love it. Yeah. You know? Why not? And uh, people were really mad about that. Mm -hmm. I just think people just either love each other, love each other. You know what I'm saying? And just be accepting. Mm -hmm. Yo, and uh, why is why are people not talking about how Baptist Health has a pineapple as their logo? You know what that means? Who? Baptist Health behind him, whatever that sponsor is. Who that? It, they have a pineapple as their logo. Look, you see behind him the Baptist oh, yeah, Health. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's like some healthcare company, but they have a pineapple as their logo. That's, what does the pineapple mean? It, you don't know what the pineapple means? No. Ooh, I can't wait to tell you about this. The pineapple is the universal uh, symbol for for swingers, like for let's swap our wives and go fuck to all together in a hotel room. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I know there's a place in Florida where they do the loofahs, yeah. the different color loofahs. Here, pull it up. Fact check us there, Harrison, please. I'm sorry. I'm wor really working you hard here, but we're, we're having working. fun. We're having fun. I know the loofah thing. The loofah? Mm-hmm. Oh. See, I don't know the Let loop. me put you on game. So <laughs> I, there's, uh, I forgot what the place is called. It's in Florida. It's where like uh, um, old people go, the, where, where they're retired, right? And yeah. what you'll do is you'll have a colored loofah over like your golf cart. That means if you're into like uh, 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 switching, if, if you're bisexual, um, yeah. A loofah like, over what? I'm sorry. Over your golf cart. So there's people trying to pick people up on the course. They mm -hmm. put the loofah on. It's and like they're a, like it's wearing like a whole the, They're like wearing the freaky shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So come over this come yeah. over, I'll see you on butthole 18. Literally, you yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally it's literally like that. All right, the meaning behind the uh, Okay, so okay. In, in defense of the Baptist health it's, oh. it's a it's a it's not an upside down pineapple but oh, so, it, <laughs> so but you know, maybe they weren't trying to be too obvious about it. But right, right. Yeah, the <laughs> right. meaning behind the upside down pineapple symbol of hospitality or swinging. Uh mm. the use of the everyday objects to communicate secret messages among groups blah blah blah. Uh, what exactly does it mean? Here, scroll down. The pineapple is a fruit. God, what is this article? We know the pineapple is a fruit. <laughs> Jesus. you didn't know. The okay. pineapple is a fruit. It's held very symbolic meaning. Blah, blah, blah. One of the most common symbolic meanings associated with hospitality. Where does it say something about swinging? An upside down pineapple has a specific meaning in modern times that may be unfamiliar to some. While traditionally the pineapple has been associated with hospitality and luxury, uh, an upside down pineapple carries a different meaning. Oh my God! Get to it, Jesus Christ! Uh, placing an upside down pineapple on display, whether it be on clothing or in front of one's home, has become a subtle way for sing swingers to identify and communicate with each other. <laughs> That's so funny. Why do they pick the pineapple? Oh, it's it's big. Bro, you got to put some uh, get some hardcore key merch with some upside down pineapples upside down on pineapples. it, just for fun. They'll be so confused. They'll be like, just like uh, just like just upside down pineapple <laughs> with your logo <laughs> on top, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Because oh my god, dude, it's so, it so makes so much sense. Okay. Because we're, you're always swinging on fools. Right. In the pit. Right. You're a swinger. Think about it. That is that it's has a double <laughs> meaning. 
write it down. <laughs> upside down pineapple. Write that down. Upside down pineapple merch. No, it's it, so funny. Yeah. Okay. It's upside down upside pineapple. Down pineapple. <laughs> So they know where my intentions are. <laughs> I'm trying to swap lives. Uh, I'm just kidding. Damn, I didn't know hard key, hardcore key. I knew he swung on people. I didn't know. I didn't know it was like that. That's so funny. No, that's good. Uh, you ever come out of mosh retirement, bro? Have I what? You ever come out? Do you, are you in mosh retirement? Or are you? Are you? Uh, do you? Are you? Are you still active in the mosh world? If I'm not playing a show, I'm not moshing. Wait. If I'm playing a show, wait. <laughs> If I'm playing a show, I'm not moshing. Okay. If I'm not playing a show, I'm mosh. You're mosh for sure. For sure. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you just go out? It's like any band, any any band, any music, or it has to hit you. You have to feel it. It has to be out. hard. It has like, to be If hard. it's hard, I'll start. Wah, 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 wah. You know what I'm saying? What's it like? when? Have you ever noticed like fans or people seeing you in there? And yeah, some like, people aim for me, and I'm like, yeah, bring it on. Oh, bring it on, baby. Mm -hmm. like yeah. I, I did a, a fest in California. Um, oh yeah, I remember that you were hosting it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a like a death fest. It was the funniest thing because I was like, I cannot say one band name because I can't read it. You know, it was all <laughs> deathcore logos, and I was like, oh, but I still loved it. Right, every band slam killed it. type shit. Yeah, yeah. it was it was. And people told me if I was like, it's. I was like, you need to be there. I was like, catch me in the pit. So like there was like this big boy there. I was like, listen, I want you. <laughs> so like during the pit, I was like. <laughs> You know, I'm like I'm like five you're, six. He it, was. He it's was like a when you, it's like when you're playing a video game and like you're level five and he's level twelve. Yeah, and yeah. you're not doing anything to his to his life bar at all. I did, but I wanted him. I was yeah. like, what? But then he came he came hitting hard too. Like I had to like duck and I was like. Ah. <laughs> but then people was looking. I was like, I ain't no bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta get back out there. So yeah. You conquered it was, him. It was hard. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. So you do cut, you do get in there. Yeah. Has, have, has anybody ever, you ever see anybody like, I imagine like people be pushing around in the pit. There's a lot going on. There's lights. It's right. dark. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're, you're, they're pushing and they like look up and they're like, holy shit, it's hardcore team. Yeah. Has that happened yeah. before? Yeah. Or usually <laughs> And then they like just get, get like in. pummeled because yeah. they're like, they freeze. <laughs> Whoa. And then they, then they just get run over. So like people are like scared to hit me in a, like if I'm in a pit, like hit me, it's fine. Like you hear that like, guys, if Keem's like, in the pit. He's ready to Don't get hit. Don't be scared. Like, it's fine. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> you'll talk to my lawyer, but it's fine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my legal team will come down upon you. And uh, There was one time I, like, split some guy's eyebrow open. Like, yeah, I you so have bad. to be careful. Exactly. You have I'm to be careful. I'm a liability. Care. Yeah, you, people are going to sue your ass because they probably think you're <laughs> caking on that YouTube money. <laughs> And they're trying to exactly. catch a case. I promise you, I do not make that much money from YouTube. I <laughs> Please do not sue me. I don't I have, like. Yeah. I, I broke. <laughs> like I promise you, it was a, a spite show. It was like right when, right before COVID. It was like a week right before COVID. Dude, hit. we were supposed to play on that uh, open the Portland date on that tour. That was like our first big bystander show. That wasn't a local show, and then it was like two days before oh, they shut it down. Man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you were at that show. I was going hard. I threw a mean elbow. Caught this guy. Oh, he was man. he was leaking. Oh. I mean leaking. He was leaking. That he looked up. Hardcore Kim is at you. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, I'm, it's over. I was like, yo, listen, my bad, my boy. He was like, if it was anybody, I wanted to be you. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, let's you're go like, get some pizza, my boy. You're like, all right, this is getting <laughs> weird. Yeah, I was like, let's go get a slice. And so I got him pizza. And <laughs> <laughs> That's the best truth. story, dude. I was like, hey, I was Hardcore like, Keem <laughs> knocked me out and then took me for pizza. That's, dude. You should sell that as like a package, vi, like on Patreon, like a VIP experience. <laughs> yeah. Like, like if you donate a thousand dollars, I'll punch you in the <laughs> face and take you to get pizza. <laughs> That's like a that's like a fetish. You'd be like, I want to get hit by Hardcore Keem. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, but I will take your money. Come on. Did I you dumb? Yeah. Did you bring a uh, Bobby with you on tour? No. So like, cause. I have flown in, so he would have, he would cost too much. Yeah. But so for people who don't know, we, next time we tour, I, I do, do want to bring Bobby. Bro, it would have been so funny to have him sitting right next to you with the microphone. Exactly. That would have been hilarious. Or like, put next him in time the you come to the podcast, bro, people, people just or I'll just yeah, I'll just get one and have it out here. Yeah, we we'll have, have it right a there. clone, like, a Bobby what is clone. That? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for people that don't know, a hardcore team. I mean, you can explain. I, tell me how that came about too. Tell me about the story about like, like why you got that guy and like like when you realize you wanted to have that thing. Okay, there. so explain it for people who don't know. I got you. So so what I do is I typically mosh in my room and um one day I started to mosh. I was like, what are those little punching dummies? I was like, no one had no one does that. I was like, I need me one of those. So on my Facebook I was like, 
anybody got a, a, a punching bag dummy or anything like yeah. that? Yeah. Somebody messaged me almost immediately. I was like, yeah, my parents have one. <laughs> Just were sitting like, and collecting dust in the basement. Literally, they was like, they used it for boxing, and I was like, can I have it? You, re- you rescued Bobby, dude. <laughs> literally. I <laughs> he was like a slave chained up. <laughs> Never saw daylight. <laughs> Just to be abused again. <laughs> so I picked him up, put him in my room, and like the first video I did with him, it was like, who is that? And I was like, you guys can name him. And then somebody said Bobby Snatcher. And I was like. Oh, because of Bobby Snatcher. Yeah, the band. I was like. That's his name. Bobby Snatcher. That's so, that's that's his, so his name funny. Is Bobby. Yeah. Pull up, uh, like, uh, punching. Uh, you know the what do you what would you even call those? They're called Century Bobs. Century Bobs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so you basically put metal shirts on this dude, and yeah. then you punch him in your room while yeah. you're, dude. Literally. And you started miking him up so yeah. that it's like, dude, that might be that's my favorite part of your videos when, when he you, talks. No, no, when you uh, when you will hit him, and it's like you're flailing around, and this music's going, and you just hear this this funny little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the little when you hit him, dude, so, yeah, he just got one of those in his room, and he just uh, like if he's feeling the song, he'll just get up and fucking start, hit Bobby. Hitting, yeah, it's so fucking Bro, funny, it's, dude. It's, so Bobby's become a a big part of your. He has a brother a now too, right? He, so he had a cousin, a cousin, Billy, Billy, <laughs> Billy. He had a cousin, Billy, but um, Billy had some uh, some complications, so he had to go back home because uh, oh. yeah. Hmm. Mm, yeah, he yeah, got yeah. he got into drugs. Yeah, he he <laughs> <laughs> he, make up he, he wasn't looking good on camera. Yeah. He was, yeah. So he had the he had to go. Yeah, I had to at one time. It was crazy. You're off the show, bro. Yeah, you're off the show. You gotta get, clean your act up, <laughs> yeah. Billy. Get back on the Maybe show. Maybe he'll come back. You gotta do something where it's like Billy like went to rehab. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, I have some I have some skits with Bobby coming up. Like, oh, really? Is that kind of where you're pivoting to yeah. now? Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. What else are you What else are you wanting to do? Like. like skits so before reactions i used to do skits mm-hmm. like that's was that's when like vine came out yeah. i was big on i was big on skits really yeah super big on like skits. what was one of what was one of them you um, <laughs> all metal hardcore kind of related or so b- before the metal i was doing like just straight skits just being silly and then, yeah nice. and then with the music realm i used to you know where you know you saw my intro me moshing in public mm-hmm. that was my thing i used to do mosh in public to people's bands i would like collab like uh, 80 songs with breakdowns from local bands and it would be like the transition over and then now that was, that's all I did. And then I was <laughs> like, so I, got, I got kicked out of so many places. I was yeah. like, this is not working. So I was like, I just do reactions from now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, but what do you, so, so do you envision a future where there's zero reactions from you? Yes. That's what you're working toward mm-hmm. and you want sure. only like original. How do, can you monetize those videos? Reactions? Yeah. Yes and no. I was. Oh, I'm always so curious about that. So, because whenever I try to fucking like, I bet you when we post your shit, I'm gonna get flagged for that, and like you'll have to, you know, I'll probably try to say that I have the rights to use oh, it. Oh, for for my for yeah my, for your old band, like like YouTube, oh, no, no, YouTube we, will probably flag my shit for that. Oh no, no, for my old band, no, we we had no. Oh, okay. It was no I, distribution I yeah, or anything. Yeah. Our, okay. Ours, this is like back. We just all right. Well, maybe not, but like some, you know, like I, dude, I had a like even when I show a TikTok clip and mm-hmm. it has the TikTok audio training yeah. audio, yeah, I'll get smacked for that. Yeah. And I'll have to like cut that part or like the you in within YouTube you can make it so it like yeah. cuts the audio out on that just that song. Yeah. Or whatever. <clears throat> But uh, yeah. How do you like monetize videos where your your main thing is fucking listen to other people's distributed fucking copyrighted shit? Yeah. So most videos are copyrighted. Yeah. But like some local bands, they don't put it through like distribution and everything. That's fine. I get I monetize from that. And then some is like shared monetization, which. Mm. So it depends on that. what the what the label or what the right, distribution right. thing they have is. Or if like labels send me songs, they'll like whitelist it. Oh, okay, that I'm makes like, sense. Okay. Do you like? Do you, have you been doing more? Like, it seems like you've been doing more, like, unknown band. Like you, like not you're not reacting to like the new Lorna Shore song, probably. Right. 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 Is that There's, intentional or are you just? Yeah. So some some like some out like there's no hate towards bigger bands. They just don't need the help. They don't need the help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for the, cause you're a man of the people. Right. This is not even a hot take. No. This is just a take. Yeah. I feel that there's underground bands that are just better than bigger bands. That's how I feel. I mean, that's how it's always been since the dawn of time. 
Right. But some people don't really put that through their, you know. Right. They think like these bigger bands are just like God, mm-hmm. which, you know, they started off small too. But right. I just feel like you could say, hey, <clears throat> give me a big band. I'll name five. That's like comparable. <clears throat> five, like lesser known. Yeah. 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 Because I just, I just enjoy, I enjoy the building blocks with, with people like starting out or they've been doing it for a couple of years. I enjoy mm-hmm. their music more. Do you have any that come to mind that you were like promoting early on that are like doing good shit now? It's like blown up? Yeah. Ooh. Um, Cause you're playing the seed for a lot of people, man. You know what I mean? Like right. <clears throat> you're getting their shit out there. You know what I mean? And and I, I don't know what the conversion rate is of like right. the people that watch your stuff. And like, if you get a bunch of views on a video cause you're right. being really funny in it mm-hmm. and then, um, they go and check it out. Like, I don't right. know how many, what the, what the crossover is, but yeah. it's gotta be good. It's gotta be, you're, you're helping people get views. For I remember sure. a, a band called nine dead, nine dead. I think there was like kind of start, kind of starting out and I did like a video on them and they did like millions and it was like I think it was like a a 1.9 on Instagram and then I think I think it did a million on TikTok or something like that and they like blew up from that nice hell yeah I'm like heck yeah you know what going back to to like like people having weird expectations about you you know what I mean when they're like uh, submitting music to you right it's like A lot of people, especially I think in music, I feel like, and I'm speaking from experience just because I've felt I've had to learn this over the years that like people feel like like if they just get that tour, right? Like right. if we just get this Born of Osiris tour, mm-hmm. it's uh, we're that's what that's it. Like, yeah, we're going to be fucking right. crushing. And yeah. it's like, nope. You know what I mean? Like you get the tour and it's like, OK, now what? You did it. You yeah. survived. You're like, and you're like, and it's like now you got to keep doing work. Yeah. And it's like, I wonder, I bet you there's p- people that think like, man, if we just get on Hardcore Keem. It's we're gonna be made, right? You know what I mean, right? And then they like get on there. You might not even like it that much, you know what I mean, or whatever. And then they're just like, "Fuck," you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can't have these like weird expectations, expectations, dude. Right? Of of that any anything is gonna you still gotta grind. Anything is gonna like just give you that ticket. You know what I mean? That's I think that's just such a learning process because it's like you see the big bands doing shit and you're like, man, Mm -hmm. if we could just do, we just get that one tour. Yeah, we're gonna be set up. We'll get signed. We'll be set up. And it's just like no, or like even getting on a label. We were on when Modern Empire wasn't a fucking joke. You know, we were on, we were on the, we were on. We actually got signed, I think, to Stay Sick, and right. then all that shit went down, and it yeah. tra- changed to Modern Empire. Yeah, and then the, even more shit went down. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. and then it was like, okay, so that was worthless. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And now we just like don't have money from any of our streams. Mm. So it's like. Yeah, we gotta fucking look into that, but we don't have a lot anyway right now. But right. if that if we put out some shit with the new shit and it pops off and people go back and listen to old shit, like I want to get that fucking che- right. cheese, baby. Right. Get, give me my half. It. Give me my quarter penny. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Or my half of a quarter penny, my eighth of a penny, because because they take half. Spotify right? yeah. straight up. Bro, let's talk about this. This is hot. This okay. is seasonal. Okay. This okay. Is hot. Okay. This is hot. Spotify wrapped. Oh, you were talking about my Spotify rap? No, just Spotify rap. Is oh, just, people posting I their think numbers? It's just, I just think it's funny. I just think it's, I just, uh, like, I don't know if it's because I've been hanging out with comics lately, so I'm becoming more of, like, a cynic and just, like, right. trying to, like, find the funny and everything. Right, right. And I, and I, you go with what you know, right? And yeah. So it's like, I know music and I know metal because that's what I've been involved in. And yeah. it's so fun to kind of, like, okay, I'm going to pull myself out of it and right. just look at all the funny, right? Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> it's funny, too, because you can't. Like I made a post on Facebook yesterday. Like nobody looks at somebody else's Spotify Wrapped and yeah. goes, "Nice." Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's like, like that's sick. You were listening to that. Yeah, dude. sick. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like nobody, nobody fucking. And there was people on there like I do. Yeah. I, no, I do. And it's yeah. like, okay, you're right. I need to. I I I will do better. Yeah. I should start looking at people's Spotify yeah. Wrapped and going, "I'm so glad you're listening to that." It's right. just so funny. It's just a weird, funny thing. And then there's like that whole thing where like people are talking shit about Spotify. They don't pay artists or whatever. Fuck Spotify. Yeah. Listen to your shit on Title, which I mean, I love Jay Z, but nobody's using Title. <laughs> Bro. You know what I mean? Nobody. Yeah, like, nobody at- I hate Spotify, but I'm still going to use it. Yeah. You know? I hate Spotify, but goddamn, the user interface is great. You know what I mean? It's like, that's like that's a double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you hate it, but that's what. You need it. You need it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You know? It's, they have all the leverage. They really do. Right. They allow you to put your, your music on there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, 
It just doesn't make sense. It's Even tough. people that boycotted, like when the Joe Rogan shit was happening and fucking Jimmy Buffett or whatever was like, I'm taking my shit off of here. You know what I mean? Some old fucking dork was, I like, remember was that. like, I'm taking my music off of here because <laughs> Joe Rogan is, is wrong. And then, and, it was like, and, and then he put his shit right back yeah, on there. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't remember who it was, right. but, but it was like, uh, it, it's like, dude, you, you're, you, you're coming back to yeah, Spotify, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll see you in a week. Right, right. You know what I mean? like, just t- take your time. <laughs> right. Because ain't nobody on title. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? On. Yeah, it's so funny. I've never had somebody but say then it. They, but then they, they talk to shit, and then they, they're they like, here's my top artist, son. Yeah. And you're just like, oh. damn, you you spent 20,000 hours listening to Spotify this year, and, 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 crazy. and you t- were talking shit on it? Yeah. It's crazy. It's funny how is, is, you need it. You you need Spotify. It, it yeah. sucks. I mean, it would be nice if they paid more, but hey, suck it up. Just <laughs> it's also like a weird thing, like you said, it's double edged sword. Because when has when has it ever been easier to get people to listen to their music? I remember my friends' bands right. would follow Warp Tour around mm-hmm. with a fucking Sony cd player yeah and walk around <clears throat> and say put these headphones on yeah listen to my shit for people in line and that was a bit and they would have cds they give them right. out like that was how you had to fucking yeah. not to be like back in my day yeah. but now you can just send people a link yeah. now everyone has the same app and they just look you up i'm not here being a spotify bootlicker or whatever right, you right. want to call it i'm yeah. not here fucking sucking spotify's dick right but you know and if honestly you think you're gonna fucking make you know drizzy money on Spotify, you're you're delusional again. Yeah. You're you're like even if you you know, even the the biggest bands probably in metal aren't aren't making super paper yeah. off of streams in general. They, they your money's made elsewhere. So you you know. So like, it used to be like MySpace. People heard the music through MySpace. Yeah, that was a, I think. Do you about think MySpace often. was paying? Hell no, hell no. So what's the problem? Well, the difference with that though is that you didn't have to pay to put your music on, That's there, true. which free. was interesting. Was that was, was kind of interesting. Wow. It wasn't as hard. I haven't thought about this until now, but it wasn't as hard to put. You just mm-hmm. uploaded. You your just music. literally uploaded the music. That was so cool. You didn't get that paid was like, from it. That but was like it would convert people to go to shows though. Yeah, that, that, that was the wild wild west, man. Yeah. That was that was so it. much fun. Buy merch, support the bands. That's how I found volumes. I'll never forget. They had their first EP. <clears throat> the concept of dreaming EP. Yeah, they had that on MySpace on the player, wow. and I, that's where that's the only place I could listen to it because you could they weren't on LimeWire. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, shout out LimeWire. Oh, they were. LimeWire was... I think the best peak. pirating era, the peak pirating era, mm-hmm. was was uh, MediaFire. You remember MediaFire, the Pirate oh, Bay? That's like where you could where you could just type in anything under the sun, right. movie, TV, whatever. Yeah, and then the word media fire after it, and yeah. you get seven links to download it yeah. for free. It's fucking awesome. I do remember that. Oh, people send you like a link. Yeah, sometimes it was a little fishy. It was sketchy. But they yeah, have like was... four download buttons, yeah. and you have You're to like, like which, which one? one? <laughs> which <laughs> one do I click? Yeah. Which one of these is gonna take me to a porno <laughs> site? You know what I mean? Exactly. Hmm. exactly. Oh, yeah. dang it! Wrong one. And your mom just happened to walk right. in and be like, "Oh, Billy." Yeah. <laughs> it's like a meat spin on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Oh, God. oh man. Yeah, it's um, that's what people you know, just support bands. Yeah, support bands directly. You know, go to shows and go to shows. Go to shows. Yeah, just buy merch. Buy merch. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Yeah, Yeah, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. They don't like hearing that. They don't like. It's so much easier to talk about it than be about it. It really is. It really do something. It's so funny. Go buy merch. We got a cat here. Oh, yeah. My fault. Meow. Um, yeah, it's. I don't know, man. Metal metal kids are so funny because it's like they're my people, but at the same time, often I find myself so disappointed in them. Like I, lo- I <laughs> you know love, what I mean? like I love because they're they they be some of the nice, they be some of the nicest people, but like when they disagree with something, it's like oh, it's so there's no there's no change in their minds. It's like oh man, yeah. see it from the other point, you know, it's, or mm-hmm. it's like be open, a little open. It's supposed to be an open mind, open minded scene, right? But it really isn't. Yeah, you know, and that's what's interesting. Like going to comedians and hanging out with them a lot. Right. It's like they're the most open-minded people right. because, mm-hmm. like, even if you say like something offensive or bad, and it's like even if it's not funny, and you're just in a room with comedians and you're riffing, yeah. they'll be like, ah, you tried. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, ah, that one's not like, funny. Ah, it's ah, funny. not funny. Right. Like, you know, right? It's like I agree to disagree. That's it. Right. right. Or yeah, exactly. Right. And it's like the the I feel like there's definitely some. 
There's definitely some funny things about metal. There's lots of funny in, lots in of funny. metal, dude. I think my top to find one it. is like them like not accepting rap. Like that's that is so. I wild. don't know why that like bothers me the most. It's like why? It's like but then they'll listen to Corn and Biscuit. Right or in well, it's funny they all hate rap, right? Right. But if you really dug deep, mm, don't, have don't, you ever don't, been? Don't, don't have you it. ever been an Eminem fan? Don't, you oh, know what I mean. A lot yeah, of these guys, yeah, right? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. All of these metal kids, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. <laughs> but you put Freddie Gibbs on, and they're like, "What is this? Whoa. Yeah, what Whoa. is this? <laughs> yeah. This is listen. <laughs> this, this is too much for me. This is too hood, and I don't like it, <laughs> that, and I don't enjoy it. And it's like." I don't know. Yeah, rap. I mean, the sickest fucking metal bands are the ones that have groove yeah. and have feel and rap. And, you know, like, Meshuggah even is like a fucking rap out band. You know what I mean? Like, it's like any groovy fucking music and vocalists that are flowing, like, yeah. that's all from rap, dude. And you would think that people, like, in metal are so, like, you know, they want to hear, like, the rhythm. The da 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 yeah. da da It's like, it's... Okay, how about a genre of music that's all rhythm? You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought you guys liked breakdowns. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought you guys liked fucking the rhythm the, the rhythm section. Yeah. That you know, the hitting that china. You know what I mean? And grooving. But you guys don't want it when it's not your exactly. when it's not like your a cup of tea. Or like it's not relatable to them or like I've always wondered. Know. And it's like the it's funny too because you guys you're in the Browning, which is for people that don't know, it's like a <clears throat> uh deathcore band, metalcore band with 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 breakdowns in it and like uh, EDM, EDM sections, right? Which, dude, I I remember like listening to the Browning when mm. I was like a younger metal kid, and right. I was more, you know, uh, and and everything I'm saying too, it's like it comes from a place of I used to be that way. Yeah, I think. Right. I think a lot of it comes from like if it doesn't have blast beats in it, right. like fuck it. That's I was like that when yeah. I was a kid too. But it's like at some point you gotta. It'd be cool if people didn't have to go through that phase. I think that could that would be positive. That would be great. If everybody just like was more open minded because you yeah. hit a certain point where you're like, oh, I don't. It doesn't matter that I like Fall Out Boy. Yeah. Like I remember I graduated and I was like, oh, I can like anything when I graduated from <laughs> high school. Like it doesn't matter. Right. You like? I'm not not cool because I like fucking pop punk. Yeah. Like. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, it's it, it's, it, ah, fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, yeah, it's like I just I feel like people uh, definitely need to be more open minded. Yeah. It's just, it's just vibe out. Like, you could be like, I listen to it, ah, not my cup of tea. Right. But to outright be like, this doesn't belong. It's like, and there was that sweet, beautiful time period where me where metal and rap, rap were just together. Cohen, like the Limp Bizkit Link era. Linkin Park. Linkin Park. Linkin Park and, and Jay-Z. Jay that might be one of the best rock and rap oh. collaborations of our lifetime. We might never see anything like that we'll, ever, we'll ever again, probably, bro. Well, Lil Uzi Vert and Bring Me the Horizon. Not gonna lie, they did something. They did something. I didn't know that. It was hard. It was hard. Hard. Okay, I'll look it up. You know, I haven't. I haven't heard it. Some people, you know, I actually that actually got a lot of good feedback. And you know, the couple, what is what is he doing in there? Or <laughs> Megan the Stallion and Spirit Box. <laughs> what people hate? Oh my, the hate that Megan the Stallion got from that from the metal community. People was like, uh, Spirit Box made Megan better. I'm like. Do better. I'm like, do better. Oh. Jesus I'm like, Christ. please stop. Like, it, it was. And they it was don't a great, realize for a, it was a great song though. For a group of people that are so verbally and uh, like publicly anti-racism, anti, right. like you know, you sure show it. Yeah, it's like not very inclusive. Yeah. And they, let's be honest, they hate Megan the Stallion because she's hood as fuck. Right, she's right, ratchet. Right. Right. That's and 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 that's <laughs> that's why they're like they're like, oh, oh, like you hate her because she is too black for you. Right. <laughs> that's what it is. Leave the hood at the yeah. door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't <laughs> and you literally just sound like fucking Dave Chappelle's white boy, like, I don't need that in my metal. <laughs> right, you know, like yeah. like chip fucking whatever is it Dog, like you know, yeah. I don't need that in my metal. Uh, right. Right. Please take. Uh, I'll take my uh, medal mm -hmm. without that. Please. It's like Jesus Christ. Like, Yo, just have fun. It's fun. The fact that one of the biggest metal bands w did some shit with Megan, one of the biggest rappers, yeah, who's funny. Megan The Stallion's like a comedian. She's funny. Yeah, she's funny. She's, she's like funny. a comedian rapper. It's yeah. hilarious what she raps about. Right. You know, it's like why can't you have a little fun? Right. Metal just kids little, have a little a bit little, of fun. Just a little bit of fun. It doesn't all have to be edgy. But you know, especially the people in the bands, if. A rapper came to them and be like, hey, let me feature on this. You think they'll say no? I mean, no. I think they would say yes. 
you they, they would be like, hey, you know, hey, let me spit a bar on your, one of your songs. Just, I mean, I, really I like guess y'all. I'm speaking from somebody. I mean, I I would always be interested if they were good. You know what I mean? Right. If, if they it was were, like good, if it were actually, big, if they it, were big and good right, or whatever, right? And it actually flowed and everything, and it actually made sense. Right. Dude, one of the uh, that Rick Rubin's song that was like one of the biggest. It was like the first hip hop rock collab mm. ever. Um, it was Aerosmith. What was that song? Run DMC. Run DMC Aerosmith. Oh, that. Uh, what, was, what was that song called? What's the song? Run DMC uh, and Aerosmith. What was that song called? Uh, we, was it, we, it was Walk de- This Way. We definitely can't walk listen. This way. What is it? Walk, was it Walk This Way? Run DMC Aerosmith. Walk This Way. Yeah, it was Walk This. That we can't really. Is, we can't listen. Yeah. To it, oh, but. you can take it down real quick, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah just give it that to me for two seconds. Give me, give me like two seconds of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like in the middle of it. Oh, it's that's so hard. hard. That, you can't. There's no. That's and hard. he acted like he got interrupted. Exactly. Right. Like, right. Yeah. Right. Just that, having a fucking blast. When did that come out? I, I know it probably uh, was look, 14 no, years no, ago. No, no. You have to Google it. Yeah. Or maybe it'll say. In so the, they've been doing that. You know what I'm saying? They've been collabing. Well, that's and but that's because Rick Rubin changed mm-hmm. the fucking game. Right. Pretty sure it was Rick Rubin that was like. We're gonna. He's like deep in the hip hop world in New mm-hmm. York, producing yeah. stuff for like people that would be become famous. I think he did like Wu Tang. No, no, he didn't do Wu Tang. He mm-hmm. did. Uh, I can't remember, dude. I'm not good with this stuff. But right. he did a bunch of like famous rappers. Eighty six, bro. You know how many white people hated that? <laughs> for, yeah, for sure. What in the right. tarnation <laughs> are you doing to Aerosmith? <laughs> They're plaguing our music. <laughs> I remember. I remember when I liked. I remember when Aerosmith was one was one of us. You know what I mean? Like Jesus Christ. I can't listen to Aerosmith anymore. Yeah. There was probably like fucking boycotts <laughs> at a show. There, oh, like probably, it was probably yeah. bad. Yeah. Back then, yeah. like that was a no no. Right. But and the they, hoods turned it up. Oh, dude. <laughs> but the but the musicians came together. Exactly. It's all it's, about right. It's in love. It's crazy. Dang. What are other? Can we we look up other like rock and rap collabs? collabs. Yeah, like a list or something. Rock like rock and rap collaborations. Jay Z, Lincoln Park, Beastie mm. Boys. You can miss me with Beastie Boys. I mean, I grew up listening to them, but yeah. you know, Public Enemy and Anthrax. Dang. Corn featuring Nas? Where did that come out? I, I, I've never heard of that one. What's the drop down on that? What what they collab on? With no Corn Nose. frontman Jonathan Davis. Play me. Hmm. I don't know that song. Two thousand three was a weird. That was a weird time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird. That was like the height of like new metal. That was like yeah, bro. And like, uh, Corn kind of brought that. Look up some uh, p- old pictures of Corn. Type in Corn Adidas tracksuit. Corn Corn brought the the rap energy yeah. Yeah. to like Corn and Limp Bizkit brought that rap energy to new metal and right. said like we can fucking ball out too. Right. That was like one of my favorite unapologetic. Corn is I think my favorite like. All around, I think one of my favorite metal bands, just yeah. generally speaking. Yeah. They're just, I don't think they have like a bad album, bad song. Look at the tracksuit. Those are newer pictures, I think. They just, they brought, the, they brought flavor. They brought so much flavor to. So sick. To metal. The red, the red, oh yeah, look at that, so cool. I would love I like to. how it took, uh, how many, how many years Corn been together? How many years have they been doing the, uh, the whole Adidas tracksuit? They just finally got their collab. Oh, did they finally, really? Yeah, finally. Wow. Finally got their collab. Push and push and try hard, and one day your dreams will come true. Even oh. if you get, even if you're huge like corn, you still have dreams to check off your boxes, dude. All you gotta do is wait two decades. <laughs> and guess what? Jo- Jonathan it. Davis. Yeah. Dreads. Yeah. Dreads. I loved it. Dreads. Loved it. Yeah. Dreads, baby. He's always had them. Yeah. He's always had them. And uh, and also it? and I uh, to just just to fact yeah. check me right meth. Lots of it at some point. Like, I think they were all on meth for sure. Like, they were all doing bad drugs. They were bad white people. So, I'm, I'm, I was not, mis- I mean, once again, it's the dread test is true. You know what I mean? Those white, the white dude with dread test is, is, but, but it's like, no, it's, I like it. it's, it's, they'd funny. be the coolest though. You know what they I'm saying? They are the coolest dude. Uh, um, um, Rand, was it Randy Blythe? Uh, Randy Blythe used to have him. Lamb of God. Yeah. He, he cut his, but, he, he probably didn't want him. the backlash. Bro, <laughs> well, I think he's kind of. I think he's kind of a simp now. I don't know. What? I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't he know. was rocking them. 
Yeah, he was rocking them for a long. Type in Randy Blythe dreads. He was rocking. This he whole episode is about dreads. About dreads. <laughs> He was like, this, really the title's going to be red, white people red, with dreads people with, with dreads. hardcore teams. <laughs> with hardcore teams. like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Those are sick. I would walk up to him and be like, what's up, nigga? <laughs> 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 and he'd be like, dude, yeah. what's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> I'm not going to say it. Like, what's the word? I'm not going <laughs> to say it back. Say it back. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. like, don't test me. Oh, oh. Can I get a card? Yeah. Yeah. Like, can I get a card? Right. Yeah. You handing out passes? <laughs> I, I've handed out a couple passes. I don't know if they use them though. But, See, uh, that's the trick. That's yeah. the trick. Yeah. I've been handed many passes, <laughs> but I've never cashed like, one like, in. Babe, I've never like, ca- No, no. You can't cash them in. <laughs> yeah. Randy Blythe is that's so funny. such a cool guy. Yeah. Dang. Let me Dude, that's crazy what happened to him. Well, you know anything know. about what happened to him? No. In uh, in Prague? Nope. So. They're playing. They're on tour. Any old tour. Kit, stage diver rushes the stage, right, and tries to rush Randy. No. He kind of pushes him away, and the kid like jumps to crowd surf, right. Right. It was like kind of all, yeah, like Going part fast, of, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like he was like, ah, and the security's like, get out. She's like, get out, get away from me. Right. And then the kid like, okay, yeah, you know, jump off stage, right. right. He there was six feet between the oh, no. the barrier and the stage and the crowd behind the barrier. So yeah. stage stage here six feet pit and then like the barrier in the crowd kid jumps off the stage hits his neck on the barrier and oh, dies no randy didn't even know it happened two years later he or something like that a year later he lands at the Prague airport and is handcuffed and thrown in prison on murder charges what? or manslaughter charges yeah you didn't know about this no i never heard of yeah that. what so he's in a foreign country people yelling at him he's in prison waiting for trial and eventually like i think he had to i don't know um can you look up like randy blythe manslaughter trial and what? see if we can find it some facts because i'm kind of talking out of my ass here but so he like pushed the guy off of him a little bit and the guy just like all right let me go back in the car yeah that is insane yeah Lamb of God frontman Randy Blythe had no reason to expect anything was awry when the plane and his bandmates landed in in prague um june 27 2012 three days prior lamb of god oh it was okay hang on hang on it was blythe was taken to prison hours that followed he was accused of causing the death of 19 year old daniel who was uh at the band's prog show two years before dude it was two years before man his mom was just on one you know um the young adult climbed on stage, tumbled back, head struck the ground. Okay, so he hit the ground. Okay. Uh, fell into a coma and passed away. Rest in peace, Daniel. That's really sad. Yeah. Um, during police investigation, eyewitnesses who were interviewed insisted that Brandy had shoved him off the stage. So what was the... Re- Unaware of negative press, Blythe and the rest of the band were dumbfounded by the scene that took place when Blythe was arrested, accused of manslaughter, and taken to prison. Uh, they announced that he had formally charged Blythe under section blah, 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 claiming that Singer intentionally injured. That's, see, that's that's a fucking stretch. Right. It's fucking Europeans, dude. They Jesus said Christ. Intentional. Jesus Christ. Listen, you can't play with our American people like that. You can't just you can't just put our intentions in our in our heads. Uh, the next day, state attorney filed a motion to keep Blythe in custody. Does it say how long he was in there? The bail equivalent of two hundred grand. Lamb of God's management and attorneys tried to pay the money right away, but the money was not deposited into the court bank account until July third. So he was from June 29th to July third, or June twenty seventh to July third. He was in prison. Sat in prison awaiting the next step of the process. Uh, uh, damn. Okay. So does it say if he got charged with anything? Well, 19, 19 days, three judges. 19 days of three judges. Crazy. His bail was 400000 Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, that's a- does it say at the bottom like what happened? Because obviously he didn't get charged with manslaughter. <laughs> Uh, keep going down. Keep going down. Uh, they rejected request to remove Blythe from prison. 
See, okay, his manslaughter trial began February 4th, 2013, lasted for six days. During the testimony, Singer told panel of judges he was nearsighted, performs without glasses, so he didn't see exactly who came on stage, but he said 2010 Prague show fan climbed onto stage and waved his hands around. Hardly and – what is that? Ra rare? Rarity. Hardly a rarity. Oh, hardly a rarity at metal shows, yeah. Uh, Blythe shoved him back into the crowd. He turned to the stage and tried to hug – Blythe, oh, when he turned to the stage and tried to hug Blythe, perceiving the man as a threat, he grabbed the fan, led him to the edge of the stage where he jumped off. Okay, mm. uh, okay. So soon after he climbed on stage, blah blah blah. Keep going down. Well, that's a that's a different person. So no, no, that's the same guy, Brian. That's the guy that died. Right, but it says no set climbed on the stage after this other guy, and Blythe thought it was the same guy. Oh. oh. Context clues, context clues. Shit. So he pushed him off stage, assuming the crowd would catch him. Tragically, they didn't. Oh, oh fuck. So it was just an accident. Um, all right, keep going down. I'm trying to see what happened. Uh, in the verdict, okay, which came March 5th. Fuck, it's so long. For yeah. Me. Jesus was Christ. Was morally. Was morally, he was morally responsible for the death, but not was, was not criminally liable. The bulk of the blame was the over what due to security, inadequate security measures. Blythe was allowed to return to the U.S., but the case was subject to appeal. Blythe was not present in the unit. Okay. He was acquitted and upheld fully exonerating. Okay. Interesting. He's lucky that he didn't get hit with, like, a wrongful death, too. Right, like, yeah. Like, you remember the guy that O.J. Kill, allegedly killed the boyfriend, the boyfriend, or the, no. you know? Because mm -mm. uh, his wife got slaughtered, and this guy that was that Ron Goldman. Right. And, and it's funny. It's sad because most people don't know about Ron Goldman because it was just it was so Nicole and OJ. Right. But right. Uh, but the, the, uh, OJ got acquitted, obviously, and won that suit. But then Ron Goldman's family turned around and sued him for like millions of dollars for wrongful deaths right. in civil court because mm. it's like not criminal, but we can take you to fucking civil yeah. court and yeah. sue you. And so. He owes them like millions of dollars, but he doesn't like make any money. And his NFL retire retiree salary is like not it's like protected, yeah. So it's not subject to oh, lawsuits. So you can't even touch it. So they can only. So it's like if he releases a book, then then they then, then they can they, get, they can take all that or right, something. You yeah. know what I mean? Pretty wild. Sheesh. Yeah, don't jump on stage and rush big bands. I mean, just don't do it because you might fucking. That's you might crazy. die, and, then, and I bet you, like that kid would have never wanted Randy to get arrested right. for that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So right. it's like it's kind of like I don't know. It's wild. Keep your hands to yourself, bro. Oh, man, that like gave me like <sighs> I'm just imagine like jumping, then like hit your head. That, oh, man, that sucks. Yeah. That's why I've, I'm glad that I've always been a bigger, bigger dude. And uh, I've never been a stage diver. Right. I've never. I don't think I've ever done it. I don't bro, think even I've ever, even like crowd surfing like scares me because yeah. it just takes one person but yeah yeah i'm good uh, i don't want to <laughs> and know? we've all seen one of those oh we're like my. we're like the big girl gets up woo, and everyone's like no 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 and then I've like seen... everybody's like uh, and then she hits the ground you're like no that happened to me <laughs> and then she pops back up and everyone's like yeah, yeah she's, she's good, good. <laughs> you know <laughs> that happened to you doc yeah like i think it was for a four today show you were the big girl no <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, was, I was stage diving <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, let me do it. <laughs> yeah. And then people was like, nah, I'm good. Oh, but like shit. somebody like kind of caught my my midsection, so like it wasn't a hard. You landing. had a cushion. That yeah, you yeah. Fell I, had on a somebody. Little, I had a little, little, little. You had cushion. a landing pad. It, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, oh. that was like when I was like 165 though. Mm -hmm. So it was it was cool. But yeah, I like stage diving. Scares me. It scares me. Man. <laughs> yeah, scares me. Scares me. Honestly, dude, moshing. I'm a pussy. I, I think the reason I got into a band, I remember like being at a show in Portland when I was a kid, and right. I and I was having fun and trying to be cool and be hard and be in the mosh pit. And I got hit in the face, and it feel it's like that feeling. Have you ever had a basketball bounce up and hit you in the face of on course. the playground, and of you're course. like, Ugh, like your nose all fuzzy yeah. and it's numb yeah. and it feels like it's like broken. I start. Watering. You feel like you're bleeding. Yeah. You know, you're like, yeah. am I okay? Yeah. I got hit hard as fuck at like a mm. burning the mat, burning, uh, beneath the massacre show. Great band. Fire. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I was like, okay, I don't ever want that to happen to me ever again. Mm -hmm. I did not like that. And yeah. then I was like, I want to do that. I want to do what they're doing I, up there. I just want to be up there. I want to be up there. Yeah. 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 And he's like, this is it. And that's, yeah. I'm right now. Dude, I think the first time I ever did vocals on stage, too, it was in a tiny venue. It was a Ghost Inside show. They were opening up for Bring Me the Horizon. 
on the uh, album tour, the Chelsea Smile. Yeah. The Suicide Season. Yeah, like their last like heavy dope one. I feel okay. like you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't I haven't really listened to like the singing stuff, New but stuff, yeah. Um, and so that like that just goes to show you how long ago Ghost Inside was like a little baby support band, right? right? And Vigil turned around during one of the songs, and I like jumped up on stage to like be like the Randy Blythe guy. I guess I don't know what I was doing. It was a yeah, small small venue, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. And everybody was stage diving, jumping up. So I jumped up, and he was getting a drink of water at that moment, and he's just like. He handed me the microphone and, and turned like, around and was like sit, standing by the bass cab, just drinking water, or like facing the drummer. And I was like, mm -hmm. "I'm I'm fronting the ghost inside right now." They're like, he, they did that for like I think a couple people would wait, jump so up and did he you would know do that. The lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, imagine you didn't. It was uh, it was. Imagine I did. Like the guy from Emo Night. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I think it was that Fury and the Fallen One song. Was one of those I can't remember it now because I haven't listened to that. But music did you in a kill the spot? I think I killed the spot, dude. Wait, I think I crossed your the spot. Mind, in my mind, kill I killed like... the spot. And I was like, I got to do that again. In your mind, did you sound like power, or, I don't know. or is it like a, I don't know? Did okay. See, here's here's how you you gauge it. Did people pat your back after? I think so. I mean, I think so. I I remember giving him a hug, and then I remember after that, I said like, thank you so much for like let me do that. That was fun. I think I want to start a band. You know what I mean? Dang, I'd love to tell him that story. Right. Hopefully, I'll get his ass in here one day. The pod dude, will grow. That's the pod will dang. grow, and I'll it's have. Happen, honestly, man. he's a fucking cool dude. He would probably mm -hmm. just do it anyway yeah. if he was in Austin. So, you know what I mean? But that dude, that was that's that's like I think that was my one of my like things that got me into doing it. Right. You know what I mean? Just like it felt so. Cool. I was like, oh my god, I'm up here. You doing felt it. the power. You felt the you felt the power. You know what I'm saying? Power, to yeah. control a crowd. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, the, that's what I'm trying to find in comedy. That's the real because I ha I do I have good crowd. I'm a better crowd controller than I am musician or vocalist. Or mm -hmm. I think I'm I'm a better bro. I'm better. I'll fucking run a room. Give me give me ten give me ten thousand right now. Give me ten thousand hot and ready, cold open. I'll open the show. Give me ten thousand cold mm. open. Right. Everybody's off their feet. Trust tr you believe better believe that there. But but, but with comedy. If I'm doing comedy at a fucking bar right. with two with two people that are watching, right. I'm I'm so nervous. Yeah. And I'm like and if somebody's like, That's stupid, I'm right. like, fuck shit. Cut your hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, right. Yeah. You're right. I think if I was ever a comedian, I think I would just do straight crowd work. Mm -hmm. I think coming up with like original jokes for me is like I, I think I, you really I could somebody, I think you really could like, and should. I can like I think you Blow should. Them to I think, dude, you know that Orlando has. You know Cam Patterson's from Orlando. Is he? You know who that is from Kill Tony? I, yes, yes, the new yes, guy. Yeah, Kill. Uh, Orlando's taking over right now. Orlando is all coming here. All Wait, the best. Cam all Patterson the, is the black guy. Yeah, all the best. The all rocks the, guy. Yeah, yeah, the rocks guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Cam is Cam and all his homies mm -hmm. are from Orlando, right. and they all are. He he came here, blew up instantly, right. And all his homies are here now. So all the funniest people from Orlando are here. Jeez. The comedy scene in Orlando now, because of Cam, right. is like blowing up. So I mean, dude, mm -hmm. there's never been a better time to get into, into comedy, comedy and just it's a slow grind. It's like the band yeah. thing. Everybody, yeah. everybody. Here's another fun point. Every everyone and everything, whether it's music, art, comedy, whatever. A lot of us, not everybody, but a lot of people want that instant success, that instant gratification. Yeah. I know I'm not the only person that's talked about this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I find I'm like going, I think I wanted that when I was young. Right. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I was getting into music. I was like, I want to be like the ghost inside. I want to blow up. I want to go into yeah. and do big stuff. And then, and like, I want it now. You know what I mean? And then like the biggest thing I, I ever did yet happened 10 years later. Right. Yeah. And it's like. And things are going great, you know? So it's like, and it's just a slow build. And it's like with comedy, it's the same thing. Anything you try to get into, it's like if you approach it through that lens, that it's like if you're going to be a YouTube reactor star. Right. And you're going to start from day today with your YouTube channel. It's like you're not going to be hardcore keem overnight, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Like you did a bunch of other shit before you started doing that. And yeah. you had this whole journey. And you, and 10 years later, whatever, now you're where you're at. And so it's like, it's, I feel like that's something that people should but when you're entering into a new thing, like me going into comedy, I'm taking that experience that this took a long fucking time to do the right. metal, get the metal thing to where it is for me. And it's like, so comedy's going to take just as long or, or, or even longer. Yeah. You know, so maybe in 10 years when I'm 42, I'll be funny. 
and I can go tour. <laughs> and right. you look at all the guys killing it, yeah. Tom Segura and stuff. I mean, like yeah, they hone their shit. It took them years and years time, and years yeah. and years. I was saying, you have to put in the work. And yeah, and it's like just have fun with the fucking journey of shit. Yeah. And like how long shit takes. You know, everybody wants to just be a fucking hot success overnight. Exactly. And you don't even want that. Have you ever heard that the thing like the longer it takes you to get to the top, mm -hmm. the longer you'll stay there? Yeah. If you really, if you want that quick success, you can get it. Absolutely. But then you'll fall. Your quick. chances of burnout. Right. Are, are That's quick. why I like band advice. If you're in a band, be active on social media. Uh, whether it's the vocalist, somebody in the band, at least one or two people in the band need to be active on social media. Mm -hmm. Talk to your fans. Do content. It could be stupid content. Do it. Just have you know fun. Saying? Do something exactly. fun. Do fun exactly. Be funny. The whole, I feel like the whole, I want your opinion on this. The whole uh, dark and mysterious, I'm in a metal band mm -hmm. image. Right. Dying. Dying. I think TikTok is killing it because, because, because they want people to be funny. Look at Tyler from Traders. Right. Crushing. Because he's a goofball. Absolutely. He's himself. He's funny. Right? Yeah. He's a silly, funny guy. Right. And it's like, that's, and then he goes on stage and he's heavy and right. you're kind of like, oh, he's so heavy, but I know he's so funny. Right. right. And like, right. and it's like, that's what people want right now. Right. And that's why I'm doing this just because like, this is what I want to do. Right. You know what I mean? It's a different like, side of you that people are seeing. It's yeah. And it's like, and then, you know, eventually it's like, if you look at podcasting, what it does for comics and they're like, Hey, come out to the show. You know, yeah. these are my dates. Like I want to get to a point where there's enough viewers where I can be like, yo guys, we're going to be in you know, uh, Kansas, we're going to be in Florida. Yeah. We're going to, you know, come, come out, buy out. tickets, you yeah. know, bystander.com or whatever. And it's like, that's over time. People, maybe people will just vibe with the podcast and who I am as a person and who my friends are. And like, they'll want to come out to the show, not just cause the music's good, but then because there's this like little added, yeah. like they might have an inside joke to yell out or, you know, some, some people like that stuff. Yeah. And I think showing that real side of you, it does work for some bands still, the dark mysterious thing. Like sleep token. That's yeah. That's a it that's an anomaly. Yeah. I dude, I honestly don't know much about that band. I I somehow I haven't checked. I right. don't. When stuff gets super popular like that, I just don't even know. Really, just, just because I'm like, it's not. I'm not gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna let me down. It's probably a bad thing. I probably should check it out. I think right. I turned it on for a minute, and it's kind of like uh, not for me. Yeah. It's slower, droney. I just like, I probably would like it if I really sat and listened to it. Right. That's that's the reality. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I just haven't given it enough time. But I know they like wear masks and stuff, yeah. right? So what's the deal with that band? As, as far as their what like I don't know. music or just Both. their whole all of it what's the con isn't there controversy with them like people hate them or love them kind of thing that's what every band blows up you know yeah they, that's that's how it is with every band that like blows up mm -hmm. so they like make like worship music type it's 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 worship weird. music yeah. what does that mean like I think it's like a cult you know oh they be like sleep token worship really worship. they say that no they don't say that but it's like in it my is, mind it is culty though they'll be like hey we're coming here it's time to worship you know what i'm saying is that the same as like the ghost band because i don't know anything about them either you know, I have but no he idea dresses about up like the pope or whatever yeah i have no idea about ghosts. that's weird yeah but like they don't really have uh online presence mm -hmm. and they just be vibing you know what i'm saying yeah but they're big they so like it and they blew up out of people. nowhere right kind of thing. but they've been grinding they've been okay I, i'll give that the, they've been grinding they've okay. been but I think I'll have to give this, them a better list. I think it was this year or last year that they really got their their rise. And so, are they metal or are they more rock, or like I guess they, no, they not got, to be they genre. Got, they got <laughs> yeah, not to be well, the genre. Yeah. I just want I just want to know what, what genre. They yeah, are. so well, I can so, decide whether or not right. I hate them without listening. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they have a lot of so they have that's the crazy thing. They have a lot of hip hop influences. Oh. For sure. Ooh, so there's a lot of there's a lot oh, of uh, there's, there's a lot of people saying they don't want hip hop in their music, but they groove. like it. Like he, th this man got soul. Really? Like he got soul, soul. Really? Mm -hmm. Nice. That's why I think a lot of people like him. That's why I like some of their songs eh, don't hit for me, but some of their songs. The singing like, is you, where the soul you can is. Have sex today, music. Oh shit! Yeah, you can fuck to yeah. Sleep Token, bro. <laughs> exactly. When Sleep Token's on, I'm fucking. <laughs> Like they got that type of music. Like they got some love music. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I dig them. Okay, I'll I'll check it out. I'm gonna yeah, listen to out. Sleep Token. Check out Sleep Token. Who did Luz, Little Uzi Vert do the collab with? Bring me the horizon. Oh yeah, B N T H. Uh, Sleep Token. Mm -hmm. Um, so I want to go back to something I, I was I kind of interrupted you. I asked a question and then we segued, but uh, the future of hardcore Keem. Right. 
in in a magical perfect world where everything that you want to do happens mm -hmm. with hardcore keen right what what is that what does it look like for like content or like what are some ideas that you have that you're willing to share anyway that it's like if you're not going to be doing if your goal is to get off reactions mm -hmm. like what is what else do you want to do besides probably like, like the skits and like probably like just long form content long form stuff. sometimes i just want to sit and talk you know what I'm saying? yeah maybe just talk I in front of a camera do, dude i think you should do some you should do a, your podcast you should do a podcast just, like and, do a and, podcast and, just well dude me. bands are always in orlando yeah it's true and you're you Very have true. you have pull if you're dming bands like hey dude i want you to come on the hardcore king podcast right. you're like fuck yeah let's yeah. go yeah. you could have you have so many friends and and bands that you don't know that still would you know what i mean and you yeah. can talk sh talk shit about music and not even make it like what are your influence like don't make it a corny music podcast just like it's just, just me yeah. just like this just talking right. about shit yeah and it, that's that will resonate with people you know what's the crazy thing what i love you've not once asked me about the browning oh yeah yeah we can get into that in a minute no no yeah yeah we don't have to yeah i mean it's like it's i've been doing that with a lot of people too where like I had the Kill Tony drummer guy, Michael. Right. Shout out to homie Michael Gonzalez. But, um, like, that was, like, the last of my things I wanted to talk right. about, right? Because it's, it's like, like it's like everybody thinks that you want to get in somebody in a podcast and be like, so tell me about Kill so, Tony. Tell me yeah. all about Kill Tony. Tell me right. all about right. all about the thing that you do that, that makes you cool on the internet. And right. it's like there's so much more to the, who the person is. Yeah. Right. There's so Yo. much more. There's so much more to people than, like, Respect. what they're doing. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's not just – like that's why I want to brand myself to more because I don't want to just be known for oh that's hardcore keen the reaction right. channel you know what I'm saying and that's kind of where I it's at right now yeah right? that's exactly where I'm at but oh love your videos I'm like yo I appreciate it which I absolutely love right. you know what I'm saying because without without reaction show I wouldn't be here you know what I'm saying oh yeah for without sure. without my start I, I would we wouldn't know each other you exactly. know what I mean yeah exactly so you, there's a lot I of friends you love wouldn't it, no, no no but we gotta grow. We gotta grow, baby. We gotta grow. We gotta change the format. Exactly. And we gotta get you gotta get back to what you love doing, which mm -hmm. was those funny Vine videos was, and exactly. the funny stuff, and being showing that more of that side of your personality rather than just headbanging to music. And, exactly. Because and you're tired of it. And that's think gonna, about it. Here's I, I think about it from the watcher's perspective as well. How long are you gonna watch a man watch music? <laughs> That you can just listen to. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like a twitch. It's I, like I, people I watching. It. It's like, I'm like you know the song. It's like you've already heard it. Right. It's like how long would you want to watch me do that? You know what I'm saying? You could say forever because it's what they're watching is your. They want your fucking opinion. My, your, they true. want your. I you know it. what I mean? I I do get it, but some you know you're like Pat McAfee, dude. Oh, they for really, for, they really, yeah. for 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 metal. Like, <laughs> let's. What does he think what about? Does he think what about does it? he think about how the this team is doing? You right, know, right. Well, what, what are, you know what I mean? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, you do like a like, more of a talk show. About I think it? after a while they'd be like, oh, I don't want to watch hardcore game anymore. But if I like mix it up, I mm -hmm. have more stuff to it. They're like, Yo, what if you showed? What and this would get a little bit of hate at first, maybe. Okay. But what if you show? I'm, I'm with it. I know you with it. Come I on. know you're with it, bro. <laughs> Continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> give me the tea. <laughs> yeah, give me the tea. Post the bad ones and be mm. honest. You know what I mean? So and, now and and be and critique and be like, I don't like this because of this and that. I thought they did that well. And then like like more of a fucking real review. Right, Be, because everyone really want, right now is like, I want to see him get up and hit the guy, right? Or I want to see him headbang or like right. be funny and go, oh shit, and like right. zoom in on your face. Like they want the funny, right? They want that stuff, but like it's not all fucking you know bubble gum and gum drops. It's not all whipped right. cream and fucking yeah. you know nice positive things. So it's like, and I that's been posting more though. I have been posting more of like yeah. not me. Or if you catch a live stream, bro, you'll see, you'll see me just straight up. Mm. Nah, that wasn't it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like not to the point of like being negative and roasting right, bands, but right. it's like yeah, but like, oh, it's, I really, it's really tough though because I feel like metal metal kids and metal fans are are a lot of the, there's a lot of them out there that are soft, and they like don't want it. They it's like they think it should it's a positivity all the time right uh, world where it's always good job good set, 
Good set, right. bro. Good, good set, good set. Good set, bro. Good set, good set. I haven't even played I yet. was outside, good set. Yeah, I was outside. I was outside, yeah. though, but I heard. I heard it. I heard it from outside, good set. Good the, set. the best is when you haven't played yet and somebody good sets you, Literally dude. Good set, good set. And, you, and you never tell them. Right. You always go back to your right. band and you go, yeah. bro, he just said good <laughs> set. We haven't even played yet. <laughs> and they live their whole life not knowing that they good set bro somebody you know that didn't the, play yet. The craziest part is when they say good set and then they're in the crowd when you actually get on. And you're like looking at them, you're like, and they're like, good set. And they're like, I fucked up. You're, right. you're like, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it still good? <laughs> you like purposely mess up. You know? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Was it good? Right. How much were you paying attention? <laughs> was it a good set? <laughs> what was your best song? What was what, what song just had you? You should make good set, bro. Merge for sure. Good set. I think that'd be funny. That just says like in big words, do, like I good set, have, bro. I do on have the back. something in the works. Oh, nice. Like a, a company type thing yeah mm -hmm. merch line a big merch line mm -hmm. big merch drop yeah like See, a that's line like a mm -hmm. like a comp a different company yeah oh mm -hmm. you heard it here first folks that's that's like for the scene mm. Mm. i love it oh. funny is there some comedy in there oh oh oh, oh. who are you talking to do you know you do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> like oh like that's how you gotta market yeah Dude, so it's, yes. it's gonna be funny oh i can't wait for that yeah bro i can't wait also like hopefully with the future of whatever you're doing it's like i i want to see what happens when you get off that day job because at right. some point it's going to take over mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to do hardcore team full time right and there's like people don't realize probably that you are doing everything you're doing busy as fuck online yeah. with a full-time what do you, you sell insurance right something like that well i'm uh not sell but like i do claims you do claims okay mm -hmm. tight so you're getting people their money yeah nice. so like right. i hope you guys know you're a hero i have a day job i have a wife i have two kids two mm -hmm. wow i'm a diet i'm a daddy oh, you daddy so papa. i got a lot to do papa Kim. yeah i love it and i still make time to to while out and have fun yeah 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 do this i really appreciate you coming on the pod bro, bro. it's so much been so much fun to do this face to face oh yeah Pull up a pull up a video uh, on my on my channel. If you go to my just, videos just and scroll years, scroll all yeah. the way down, you can see the how shitty the stream was and it was no, like it lagging. Was it, it was fun. It it's was, a good. It I hope fun. that people will go fun. back and watch that one after this one and be like, oh, they already did it. Right. Like they they just need to look at the progress. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, just mute that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna so start. Like uh, and then if you go to videos up top, the tab. And then all the way to the bottom, I think it's episode three. Episode, wait, wait, wait. Before I did oh, right thumbnails. Oh, right there, right there, right there, I see it. Which one? Oh, mm -hmm. down, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It says one year ago. That's bullshit. Yeah, when like, was that posted? That was not one year ago. Who's who's EPP? Ep. Ep, oh, true. Uh, Super dope rapper. He's in a group with my boy Squatch that I was talking oh, about. Very okay, dope. Okay, okay, okay. I miss that guy. Yeah, yeah, just, just, dang. Dang, that's when you had the laptop set up. The whole Finn McKenzie thing. I don't follow. <laughs> Again, a thing I don't a thing that I don't know anything about. You're like, you know what's going on in the metal community. I'm like, absolutely no, not. No, no, <laughs> I don't know anything don't. about what's going on in the metal community. I don't pay attention. See, how was that one year ago? There is no way. That's YouTube is straight up lying. Can 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 you see the date that it was posted? What the yeah, click the more. It'll show the date. It just says one. Huh. February eighteenth, twenty twenty two. So it, I guess it, it was, was a year. It ago. was a year. It ago. really was a year ago. Crazy. This was, I think this was before COVID, or like right when COVID hit, or it was right when it was like ending in some places. I think that's what it was. Because I was think we were talking about 2020, that. 2020, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty. Right, right, right. In right. Portland, I think it was still wear your mask outside. Mm -hmm. Even in twenty twenty, they were the last ones, bro. Yeah. Fuck, fuck all the that shit. So annoying. And you were in Florida just living it up. Florida just, yeah. You know, I love it. Florida was like, it. yeah, we're, we're going outside. That was such a weird time, too, for the music industry. Because I remember, like, early on, I was like, this is all bullshit. I was posting it all the time. And then, like, I got a couple, like, it's at first I was like, I was like, this is all bullshit. Fuck the government, right? Like, because that's what metal has always been about. It's right. like, fuck the, fuck, the, fuck the government, mm -hmm. whatever. Fuck being ruled over us and every, you know what I mean? Like. Like, fuck rules being put on us. Let us just do our thing. And then this whole thing, like, there was this big weird shift in that everybody's like, you don't care about people if you want to have shows and do shows and, like, don't want to wear a mask and don't want to take the shot or whatever. And it's like, 
It's just it, it was and then so early on I was like, yeah, fuck this fuck all this stuff, right guys? And then like it started like the comments were like, yikes, dude. Like ew, like bad, <laughs> hot take, <laughs> bad take. That's a bad take. Imagine. And and especially like in Portland, like it was just like they're just starting to eat me up and I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I and then shit got kind of weird where I was like people were buying all the toilet paper and mm -hmm. it was looking like it was like I a, remember people that. were looking like it was going to be a like people were dying and I was like, okay, like I don't know enough about this so right. i'm gonna stop i'm gonna talking. stop yeah. talking about this right. and i'm clearly offending people but i remember the but it's thing. but it's funny now everyone wants to forget about it everyone wants to forget about how you they know, acted the, you know on either side if you were a crazy anti-vaxxer QAnon trump guy over here and you acted a fool during the pandemic and if you were a crazy four masks on my face mm. seven seven vaccines you know uh left-wing person mm. everyone wants to just let's all forget about how dumb we acted let's just forget about it not talk about it you know the men in black flash yeah what yes talking about yeah that's exactly what they're trying to do what? which is funny it's like no you guys were assholes <laughs> you, you were you want you me. made me show my papers at, <laughs> at the fucking show to get in you know what i mean like what are, and you and i had to wear a mask you guys are so st and everyone was fine i remember that it's like it's so bizarre i remember you had to like have like a test like three days before the show or something it's like so that fucking weird. Yeah, that, that so was such a weird bro it doesn't seem real it doesn't and everyone just wants to forget about regardless of your stance right a lot of people acted really stupid yeah and everyone wants to forget it's like when you get blacked out drunk at a party and piss your pants and embarrass yourself right never happened to me before um no but but uh but you just like you're right. like let's just forget about that let's bury that that's yeah. exactly what's happened with this whole it's just so funny how I, it, yeah, it, was it wasn't like, long ago and it feels like it stuff, never happened yeah. and shit the stuff i saw like people like intentionally coughing on people i'm like <laughs> yeah, what that are shit. you doing that yeah it was, was, it was it was such a weird time yeah. Um, mm -mm. So you guys got a show tonight. Yeah. Fucking Browning. Yeah. Let's talk about it. We didn't talk about it yet. You, right. you, you said I didn't, we didn't talk about it. But so were you, how did that whole thing come about with you joining them? I had did a podcast with Johnny about three, three, I think it was during. He does a COVID. podcast too? Well, he did. Well, he does. Yeah. He, he He's does still doing it? Yeah. He cool. does it here and there. Whatever he has time. I'll have to get him in here. Um, And then. Uh. He had texted me to cover one of his bands. I did, and then to what cover like because he I, he was managing a band for a little bit. Oh, okay. So he was like trying to get uh, their views up. And yeah, stuff. yeah, and the, the, for their music. And then I did that, and then we just started talking. And then he was like, "Hey, we're going on tour. You want to come? You know, you want to play bass?" Smart move for them. I'm like, because they kind of came back, right? They were like, they were like hiatus or like not hiatus, but like they weren't doing a lot for a while, right? Well, they weren't yeah, touring and yeah. Yeah, releasing because, shit for a while, right? Right, because so, they were just busy and right, yeah. There was uh, 2018, and then 2021. At the end of 2021, they dropped a song, but he never really had like an online presence. Yeah. So that's what everybody says, like, "Oh, the Browning's back." It's like they can not really laugh. He was just never online. Mm, yeah, yeah. But now I'm like getting him online. So that's sick, dude. Right. They're so smart with that. They're Boomer. like, it's yeah. kind of tight though. We're back and we have hardcore Keem right. in the mix, and it's right. like, ah, <laughs> right. dude. I got. I was there at the last show you yeah. guys played. Yeah. And that was, like I said, when I was younger. I think I looked at the Browning and I was in a poo poo. Mm -hmm. Like I don't like EDM. EDM, you know what EDM what I mean? Yeah, EDM doesn't belong. EDM is just talentless. Right. It doesn't take. There's no guitar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like yeah. just being a bitch, a young yeah. young person that we were just like been talking about this whole time, but. Mm -hmm. um, but then, dude, when I saw it live, and it could just be a thing that's like one of those things where you got to see it live first, yeah, to really get it. Was it like a worship experience? It wasn't like a no, dude. It was just like it was like you're never ready for those EDM breaks, those right. raves. Yeah, it's a it's a party, and then you guys it's are just party. partying. Everybody, yeah. the only guy that's not partying is Cody. He's right. working. He's working yeah, double yeah, time. Cody. <laughs> he's, yeah, <laughs> Cody's just in the pocket, constantly in the pocket. Yeah, everybody's getting water and hyping up the crowd and shit. Throwing yeah. glow sticks in the air, yeah, and you're yeah. and Cody's just <laughs> yeah sweating. He's just in the pocket, yeah, dude. It's like that, yeah. Uh, but that's there. The Browning's an experience, dude. If you guys haven't seen the Browning, you got to check it out. Are you guys doing more? Is this a tour, or did you just come down here for this show? Yeah, just come down this for the show, and then two weeks we're in Chicago, and then oh, with Boo, yeah, my boys. With your boys. With your boys. With your that boys. would be a dope tour for Boo. You know is what? You, you guys with Boo. This is the first time sick. the Browning's ever played with Born of Osiris. Really? Mm-hmm. 
that's gonna be a that's gonna be a hot mashup. That's gonna be lovely. Boo, what's up with the tour? What's up with the tour? Take him on tour. What are you? What are you doing? Take him on doing? tour. I I bet you Cameron's thinking about it. Probably. That's probably, probably. he probably he asked you guys to do the show, right? Yeah. Then definitely. Yeah. Dude, when he came out to Chicago, we were on that Infurious tour. He came mm-hmm. out to Chicago show the very the last Shout show, the last show. I love Infurious, love uh-huh. those boys. The last show of the tour, um, he came out and he was like, he watched our set and he was like, "What are you guys doing in February?" Yeah. And yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, it's happening!" He was like, "I was like, going on tour with you." He was like, "He was like, <laughs> yeah, you are." Yeah. And he was like, "Yay!" Yeah. <laughs> Come on, son. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good job, son. Daddy. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> You're like, of course I'll go. No, I haven't told you this a lot, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> you know, it's like, I bet. I bet when he when he's like, "Yo, you want to go?" I bet you was like, "Yeah, this is it." Well, yeah, and it, but it was kind of one of those things too, where it was like, yeah, the thing about it, like I'll there was a multiple multiple things where it kind of. After two full U.S. tours on our own, e- yeah. eating shit, you're kind of like, okay, th- like, like, yeah, that thanks, that's nice, like, like, yeah. it's a weird thing where you're like, sweet, like, that's the logical next step, yeah. and I feel like we deserve it. There's yeah. like a bit of that, and then there's a bit of the childhood. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, mm. and then like we had been talking about it since when we released Mental that song, and then he reached out to me, DM'd me, and was like, dude, I really like the men- Mental song. We had like just a loose talking on. Yeah. Instagram once yeah. in a while relationship is like hey I really like that song when COVID's over we should do a tour so right there I was like whoa and that was 2020 and yeah. then so it's like it was three years later until it happened so it's like that's the kind of shit I'm talking about with like you gotta wait yeah you gotta wait and work wait your time work, work wait and another W yeah. work wait and something else I can't think of you know what I mean but work wait and work that's mm-hmm. what it is because it's and wait some more yeah because it's like it took three years and so even when he was like telling me that it was happening the weird thing about that is it's not like he goes, yeah, just sign here and you'll be touring with us, in, you know, in April it's or in March. It's like, OK, like this is the fourth time we've talked about this, you know, and it didn't work out for some other re- some other band that was like a little bigger than us crushing right. harder. Yeah. They got the tour that we were supposed to get a couple of times happened like that. And then it was like, I'll kind of believe it when I see the check kind of thing. You know what I mean? I'll believe I'll believe it when I when I when I see the email come through that it's Yay. when I see the fl- and it was when the flyer. Sorry, mm-hmm. keeps I keep salivating. Um, it was when the flyer hit my email. Right. That was when it was like, your heart. Yeah, that was the moment like, for me. When I saw the flyer, I was like, "We're doing it. We did a support tour. We're do, we got a support slot. Like we this fucking did it. This is real, and You're we like, crushed it. They yeah. were so proud of us. We just destroyed those rooms, brother. So now you're always gonna be in the back of their mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, they've talked about wanting to go to Europe and stuff. We vibe, dude. Like we're hanging out, and like they were so cool. It was one of those things where it's like, uh, and I've said this before, but it's like when meet your heroes doesn't go wrong and yeah. they're just like cool and then you become like good friends with them yeah. you know what i mean and, the, and it's just yeah. kind of like whoa you know because they could have been you know assholes they could have been don't come on the bus right. don't 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 come in the green room don't yeah. talk and they, they had a couple nights they were like hey we have our own green room like you know just knock before you go or whatever yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Um, they have a thing where they don't like to uh they need like a half hour alone before they go on Oh, that's and that's like standard though. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. And Preparation, I think preparation, mind. Yeah, right? yeah. They got to get a little pep talk thing in, and yeah. I think even one of those, like I was like getting up to leave the bus, and they were like, "You're cool, you can take." You know, like later on, you know what I mean? I don't remember, but but it was like it's like they're super chill. You know what I mean? And it's I hope you guys get to tour with them because it was a blast. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take them on tour, Cameron. Take the Browning on tour with you. It'll happen. It'll happen. I know it'll happen. Do you guys uh, have anything else in the works other than those two shows right now? Or no? Yes. Nice. We can't talk about it, but can't yes. talk about it, but yes. Yes. I love stuff. You can tell me afterwards. Yes. You can talk about it off the air. <laughs> That's awesome. Browning pool party. Yeah, Browning pool party. Pool party. What? That, actually, I don't like how that sounds. Brown in the pool is Brown not. In the pool. <laughs> I saw some video. Of Dookie like, in the pool. I think it was overseas, of course, and it was like this band playing. It was at a festival, and it was like this pool, and I was like, dang. That's a pee pee pool. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah. there's a lot of pee. In That's that. a pee pee party. Yeah, there's there's a lot of pee in that pool. That's yeah. what I was like, dang. There's a lot of big thing to do here in the summer and um, spring is uh, there's this place um, the the lake in the middle of the city. Have you seen that? Nope. It's it's actually not bad. It's not that bad. It's not it's not not nice, but not. And I think a lake. No, you don't. They, well, it's a it, they call it a lake, mm-hmm. but it's a river. <laughs> it's part of the Colorado River. Gotcha. That's like 
they boxed it off and like control the flow of it or whatever. Right. And so a lot of people will go out to this place called the sandbar where you paddle out and then yeah. you just can stand like the water the, there's oh, like rocks. And so yeah, yeah. it's like waist deep water. Yeah. And so everybody's just like drinking and vibing out there playing beer pong on fucking uh, paddle boards. Yeah. And, but there's definitely like, you're like, people are pissing in here for oh sure. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, but it's, it's flowing, everywhere. but yeah, you're like, it's, it's, all right. Yeah. I don't know. Put my mouth in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No. <laughs> you don't put your head under that yeah, water, yeah. bro. bro. Florida water. Have you, yes. have you seen that uh, billboard mm -hmm. by Yeti? Yeah. Instead of the Boston Tea Party, it's the Austin Tea <laughs> Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. shows all the paddle boards and the yeah. like. See if you can find that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Dog, that's how it is in Florida. Florida water is free. Man, yeah. Florida's beaches are so sick, though. We yeah. were in Pensacola we cool last beaches. last uh, November, mm -hmm. and we had three to two days off, and we just got in a, a we row. Just, yeah, we just got a hotel in Pensacola, and yeah. it was it was the off season. It was like eighty five dollars for two nights, oh. and it had two beds in it. And we and we were just we were just on the beach. It was awesome, especially being for yeah, especially being from Oregon. Like mm -hmm. it's so fucking cold in November. You could never imagine being on a sunny white beach, right? Yeah, yeah. and it's like in Florida, you're like it's hot, yeah, and nobody's there because they're like, ew, it's the off season. Yeah, and it's like oh, everything is cheap and. It was dead. It was fucking. We went on this drive out there, like mm -hmm. on, a, on. We drove until like the roads ran out. And yeah, we had to turn around, like just to go see like the suns. It was fucking awesome, dude. I, I want to visit. I'm gonna come see you in Florida. I need to show Sarah Florida. She's never seen it. Florida man. Yeah, dude. I love it. I mean, we can make uh, something. I'll bring my camera or something. We can make. I want to help you make some shit. Cause oh, I got the I'm down. I got the camera skills. Yeah, I'll yeah, fucking yeah, come yeah, out. Yeah, we can make, yeah. If you're doing skits, boy, no, we can make a skit. Hit me up. Yeah, I would we'll love to make. I would love to make a skit. We, do a skit. we can get. We can get Ridley involved. Who? We can get. Oh, we, my. <laughs> we can get Michael Ridley involved. Chinky sweat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, you I'm say not, it. I ain't I'm saying. Doing chinky sweat. I ain't saying. Dog, that's such a cool name. That's awesome. Oh, is that like a give? I don't know. I, maybe you add a Y to it, and it's I don't know. It's his username, so it's kind of like right. He that's part of the joke, I think. Oh. Yeah, we should try to I'm hang sorry. out with him. But no, no, he he no. <laughs> you are, don't cancel I apology. me. I apologize. Don't I cancel I, me. I, I, just cheeky cheeky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. If you take the Y off, I never, it never even crossed <laughs> my mind. I apologize. I never D thought about. Don't it. apologize to him. Apologize I, to the I, metal kids that'll get right. mad because you like, said I, it. I just read his name as that, and I, it just flows. So yeah. I was like, Oh, okay. I'm sorry to the over to the easily offended white people that'll get mad that I said that. <laughs> my <laughs> no, my B. I have a shirt that Michael. says it. That he, he so I'll show you. He has a shirt that mm -hmm. says it uh, on the back in like metal metal font. Yeah. Because he's tight. low key. That's he's tight. like a metal kid, bro. That's tight. Yeah. That's tight. Yeah, it's that's awesome. tight. Um, tight, bro. Yeah, we got to get next time you're here, you should yeah. do his podcast. Yeah, Come down. we do it in here. Yeah, so yeah, you guys change anything around? Uh, not yet. We probably will eventually. Yeah. I think I want to put like a green just, a green screen behind right, them just and put a backdrop. Something. Yeah, yeah. I got to get rid of these black curtains. They suck. But I've just been more focused on like the doing podcast. them. Yeah, do yeah. But yeah, we'll make adjustments too. I also share the space with somebody. And the back here, it's funny. This wall is painted like a like a galaxy. Mm -hmm. It's not really my style, but nah, it's dope. Um, yeah, we'll do something. Put a shelf up. Put a plant on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the plant. The plant makes it. Right. The plant, plant makes the whole backdrop. Exactly. I need something like Bobby. I need something to fucking. You do. You need to have like a staple. Is that a that stress people. reliever for you ever? You just ever just take it out on Bobby, dude? Like, in a normal day? Yeah, just like not even <laughs> cameras off. You're just like, man, it's been rough. You just drop your backpack, square up with them. He looks back. Yeah, rock him one time. Yeah, dude. Does when I first had him, like he would like freak me out. Was he spooky? Was he kind of haunted? He was spooky because you know, like he walked he was past in the, the basement. room. Like you walk past the room, you don't expect nobody to be there. Right. And sometimes I'm like, <laughs> Jesus like what Christ. are you doing? Yeah. Back in the basement. I told <laughs> you, you know, not to right? sneak up on me <laughs> right. like that, Bobby. God damn it. Right. Yeah. Like I, I used to like get like creepy, like him being behind me, but I got used to it after. You all. don't smoke weed, right? No. It's a good thing you don't, because you'd be really yeah, be like, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, you moving? The, yeah. <laughs> He would start talking back to you and shit. <laughs> right. He'd be like, "You know, I don't like it when you punch right. me like that." I was like, "Jesus Christ!" Like, oh. like, no, no, back Love to it. Yeah. What time is it? How long have we been going? How long have we been going? Two, two hours five. What? We just crushed two two hours, bro. Dang. That's how we do it. That's how you do it. That's how you ri that's how you riff and hang, bro. We, did we two just hours? riffed and hang. That's what I'm talking about. Say the N word. <laughs> 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 right. After the two hours, 
I think it's warranted. Negroni. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cocktail, folks. Right. Come on. <laughs> it was like. Yeah. They're, they're, you like were like, waiting, they're like waiting with the cancel button. They're like, yeah, exactly. oh, so close. We almost had him. Right, right, we right, almost right. had him. Right. Say it again, Keem. Say it again, yeah, Say it again. Say it again. Oh, oh, I love funny. it, dude. We can get out of here if you want. Go get some tacos. Get you ready for a show. You probably got to be there soon, right? I'm running merch. You're running merch? Hey, I gotta, I'm running merch. All right, you guys. Plug your shit in this camera. Hardcore. <laughs> You already know what it is. Hardcore Keem. You know you got you got to give me like the uh like a hip hop like you are listening to Hardcore Keem. Uh <laughs> you already know what oh, it is, oh. bitch. Mike will made it. You listen to the Gorecast. Make sure you follow me Hardcore Keem on all socials. Damn son, where'd you find this? <laughs> I love that tagline. Right? That tagline is Yeah, it's fire. Peak. Uh you guys support Hardcore Keem. Whatever he does to when let's get him off of reactions someday. Let's let's get right. let's inspire him to do shit that he wants to do that makes him happy and g brings him joy so he can have fun and not be stuck in the reaction thing. Right. But I'm excited. Oh, sorry, you can tighten it right here. I'm excited for the the future of whatever you're gonna do, bro. I think it's gonna be awesome. I love everything you do. I love your energy. You're always uh, bringing positive vibes uh, into the into a a, ne a negative uh, internet world, you know. And yeah. we we do need we do need a, a people, we yeah. do need a little bit of joy every time we scroll past you. We love we love seeing you. So I appreciate it. Thank I you for coming it. on, brother. Run the outro. Let's do it.